so you, so basically Real sweet. I don't, I, don't, I, I, I never see I never see no paperwork dog okay if I don't see the paperwork you don't slide me the paperwork then it ain't, it ain't facts dog show, show me the paperwork, paperwork and then I'll be like damn I wasn't talking about the other the other kids I was talking about the 13 year old person who got impregnated which is my mother I was talking about her okay and and uh you know my father already said he'll take the five years f for her but but the, the rest was bullshit that was all false Ac accusations trying to get money whatever it was that's not for me to speak on i, I don't know anything about it baby, baby bash wasn't there for my situation you know what i'm saying my, my mom was 13 how the fuck could he be there you know what i'm saying my, my mom saw saw the flat interview she was pissed he did that you know what i'm saying but i don't what nobody says everybody knows a fucking spm song he was cracking homie he from texas i'm from la show me the paperwork and then we'll switch it up okay? show me the paperwork and then we'll switch it up before backing up carlos coy also known as spm get your facts straight he is not in prison for being with a 13 year old little girl he is in prison for going down on a nine-year-old yes you heard me right going down on a nine-year-old the fact is that there is only one victim in this case and it is a nine-year-old girl now that is reality and you need to deal with it. all people in this state in this county in this city and in this courtroom are equal in the eyes of the law you have received a fair trial you have received due process and the jury has spoken and it's time for you to face the music it is the order of this court that you be delivered to the sheriff of harris county and to the director of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Institutional Division, where they will carry out the jury's verdict for 45 years, and a $10,000 fine will be given credit for her back time to see the bail. Me a body feeling froggy with the jump. I'm a beast. beast. Here's some contact with the clout. Get knocked out by a real dropout. Balls ain't low. Call me D.O. Known to keep a toy if you really wanna know. Catch me out traffic, guarantee that I go. Known to get the clout, then I turn straight go. Mommy? Hey, that's private, screw. Well, let's see what we have here. Why don't you give the man back his letter? Buzz off, butter cheeks. So this is what I was actually tripping out on. You guys can read that real quick. It said, uh, bunch of stuff, but got some dates. Mr. Via is a validated gang member in California Department of Corrections. It's actually got his case number right there on the very bottom. If you look all the way on the very bottom. You guys can read all that right there. It says that he's sensitive needs. Mr. Via to San Quentin, California after hearing. Bada bada, yada yada. So there it is right there. You guys go ahead and check out the, uh, you guys can run the uh, the case number on there. Double check it out. But this is your proof that he is no, in no, not in good standings. And he did parole from the sensitive needs yard. You know, you guys can read the paperwork right there. Right there, that's the where, where the lines where it says, Mr. Villa is a validated gang member of the California Department of Corrections to rehabilitation has classified him as a sensitive needs yard inmate. That's on the other side, people, that's bad standing. So there's a lot of people asking, is he active? I didn't know he was, I thought he was all good. Like, I don't care personally, but I think it was, I, I just came across this and started laughing because there's your answer. You guys know right there.
there you guys have it right there for people that were wondering or asking you know uh, that whole pew had to hit the fluff yard the sensitive needs yard the s and y's findings you know what i'm saying i'm out it's mike's world I'm really sorry too. Be good! On your little bullshit ass prison channel, punk. You're the weakest motherfucker on the YouTube yard about. You're the weakest motherfucker on the YouTube yard about. Eat your lunch, you all need your vitamins A's and B's and C's. It's an accident! It's an accident! It's an accident! The, the trigger, it's sensitive. It's, it's okay. It's alright. It's just. Sensitive trigger. Dick sucker. But I guarantee you, you or nobody you know will meet me in public and talk about that shit in real life. No, because you're on a fucking make believe fucking silver screen trying to make a fucking hero of yourself, you rat. You little fucking manula wannabe cocksucker. When any one of you motherfuckers or any one of them motherfuckers can meet me outside, then talk. Cause it don't matter what the fuck I've done ever, motherfucker. Ain't nobody doing shit about it. So what does that say about your little pussy ass gang? You're sitting there trying to act like what? Bro, I still go out there. Where them punks at? Exactly, you fucking tar. You're the only motherfucker that comes on there trying to make them motherfuckers out to be something they're not. Man, fuck you and every last one of them, homie. Fuck you. I don't give a fuck if they were from Duba Villa. Fuck them too. Dead and alive. Fuck them. Motherfuckers want to meet me face to face. See me. Nigga, don't run for me. Bitches. Come on here acting like. Bitch, please. You all cowards, dog. Every last one of you motherfuckers are cowards. Not one of mother, not one of you motherfuckers can see me face to face. Fuck boy. And go check the record on what I said to Paul. What I said to Rudy Rocha about Paul, huh? Paul Eppinger or fucking Indio can't stop me from going over there and shooting you in the motherfucking face. Which says to each one of them motherfuckers, I'll shoot you in the fucking face too if you try to stop me, dick sucker. It's like I said, when Yuck and them took their shots at me, I beat them back, lit them up. Bitch, you don't know nobody built like that. There ain't never been a member of the Mexican out there who will ever be built like that. So fuck them. Go tell them I said that, bitch. On your little bullshit ass prison channel, punk. You're the weakest motherfucker on the YouTube yard about. You're the weakest motherfucker on the YouTube yard about trying to represent Arizona. That's how bad you make all these motherfuckers look. Little pussy. How does that make you feel? How does it make you feel that no matter what nobody got on me, they can't see me? They ain't got this on me, do they? Now, one of them motherfuckers ain't got broader shoulders, bigger balls, a bigger brain ain't ready to die for this shit, are they? Nope. There's not one motherfucker that you name, there's not one motherfucker that you know that will go there with me. Until they will, until we see it, no. I am the truth. What I say is a motherfucking fact until it's proven otherwise. It's a fact. No, it's not make-believe that I fucking go out here. Everybody knows where I'm at. And if I choose to do it live on location and troll, because that's all I'm doing, and that's what I'm going to do. And anyone watching me knows, pull up and die about it. That's what we're going to do. No, we're not going to fucking turn and call cops because somebody got killed and we couldn't handle our mother. No. Like all of these motherfucking rats who dropped out of their prison gangs, no, you couldn't hold your fucking mud, punks. Remember that about your motherfucking self. You couldn't hold your mud. I don't give a fuck if you killed somebody or all that shit. Because you couldn't hold your fucking mud. Those murders and all that mayhem got the better of you. Your stomach started to turn and the nightmares got the better of you, bitches. 
Come on, I know the psychological effects of all this shit. Stupid. So now what? Would you like to take whatever it is you have on me down to the river bottom with all of them with you? Yorona, because that's what I'm going to call you, Neta. La Yorona, I'm going to call I'm going to call that whole prison gang La Yorona. Bunch of crybabies. La Yorona drowning their babies in the river. All you little faggots are nothing but their babies. They're drowning you little fucking whores in fucking the river so that they can shoot dope at your expense. You're all being sacrificed by those fucking Yorones. Fucking Yorones need fucking booty guards to protect their old assholes that are already shot out any fucking way from getting blown out by some big black dudes. Bitches, tell the truth. Fucking cowards need a whole bunch of motherfuckers. You fucking tar, shut the fuck up. If that's your gangster, your gangster's gay. Right there where you stand at, it's gay. You ain't gonna bring that shit over here. Everybody keeps telling you that. That's a fucking fact. So what? We're supposed to be impressed with the dumb shit you motherfuckers do? Sticking shit up your duke shoe? You motherfuckers got your shit pushed in, fool. Bro, I can't stick no goddamn shank in my ass. I ain't sticking shit in my ass, motherfucker. Go ask anyone up in the prison if they ever stuck anything in their ass. I ain't never done it. I would never, ever stick out my motherfucking ass. Ask them if they ever stuck anything up their ass. And ask them if they want to stick this shit in their ass. If you can hold a fucking cell phone in your ass, you was holding dick in your butt too. There ain't no motherfucking way in the world I'm sticking something in my motherfucking butt, fool. You fuckers are weak for doing that shit. You want to act bad, bitch? You got to stick a shank in your ass you can't fight. And then to do it for someone else? Oh, my God. He's a thorn bearer. Well, you know they ran a trade on that motherfucker. You know his asshole blown the fuck out. You can tell by the way he walks on his twinkle toes across the motherfucking yard. That's how they be walking. Look at him. That's how they be working out, too. That's how they look in the weight pile. Twinkle toes and shit. <laughs> Motherfuckers are supposed to be in Man, fuck them. The impressions I have of them, exactly what the fuck I just said. Yeah, everything you tell me about yourself, your gang, your idols, your legend, yeah, exactly what the fuck I said. That's the impression I get. That's exactly the impression I get. You, 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 your legend is some fucking coward who needs a fucking protection, a protection detail for to safeguard his old asshole that's already shot out. You know his asshole shot out. I don't even know. I don't know. I blacked out. I've been, I've been hurt before. Like I said, I let my guard down. It's all right. I got blacked out drunk. You don't love me anymore. The last brewery of the night. Went to a brewery. Ended up, I don't remember Someday. being. I don't remember leaving. I'll find a way without you. But I got a phone call this morning. <laughs> a couple of them. Where am I kidding? I got jumped last night. <laughs> I got jumped last night. <laughs> I got jumped last night. <laughs>
Ojo, 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 ojo. Let me tell you something. I got jumped by two. Look, look, look. Both of these dudes were well over six feet. One of them was the guy I jumped. I went in the bus with, and we had some beers together. Yeah, that guy looked like a lumberjack, big old boy. The other one was this big fat dude, and I don't remember the fight. Stand up, asshole. I don't want any trouble. Leave me alone. I can either kick your ass while you're sitting down or while you're standing up. It's your call. Fuck your shit up, Raymond. I told you I didn't want to fight. Fuck, I told you. But obviously, they did a lot of damage to you. <laughs> look at Look at all beat up. Man. I ain't that big. This is what I do. But it was a lesson. I woke up, I was like, why are my fucking hands sore? I'm not proud of it. It could have went all bad. It should have went all bad for me. Two dudes that big jumping on me. Supposedly at one point, I guess the very first punch, I got sucker punched, I got dropped, got back up and started chunking them with both of them. I should have been stomped out. I shouldn't be here right now. I understand that. The type of person that I am, I'm always, always extremely aware of my environment, my situation, what's going on. Because I had blacked out, I didn't sense that there was something in the air. And I got touched. Um, I'm an old man I'm not supposed to be in these type of situations I don't know what triggered it I don't care what triggered it All I know is I should not have gotten that drunk Around a bunch of people I don't know You know I know I was happy And I was having a good time And, and I, I wanted to enjoy the celebration um, and, and as much of an idiot as I used to be You don't ruin that, that type of celebration You don't ruin somebody's birthday Right? Like, whatever was the problem, why did these two big ass motherfuckers feel like they had to team up? <laughs> they could have easily said, hey, let's, hey, you know what? Let's go around the corner. Head up, hey. Cool, let's go. Who, who, who's afraid of that? But that wasn't, uh, apparently, that wasn't offered. From what I was told, I got socked and started fighting two dudes and then. Somebody came to break it up and I socked him too because I didn't know what was going on. So I'm just socking everybody that's coming near me. And that could have been all bad. It, it, uh, I can't be doing that. I can't go to places with people and, uh, allow myself to get that drunk. You shouldn't either. You never know, no matter how happy you are, how much fun you're having don't know what's going on in the next man's head the next man's heart I don't know what happened to trigger it and it doesn't matter again I should have never I told myself before I drank one beer don't get too fucked up and I ignored myself so that's the lesson for me Got me fucked up. I go to your house tonight, Jerry. Where you at? <laughs> hey, hey, boy, I gotta say, you gotta say, like, you're home. Listen, you're not far from me, homeboy. I'll go to your mm -hmm. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, you don't nah, fucked up now, nah, bro. I'll go to your mm -hmm. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Again, I should have never. I told myself. Before I drink, one beer. Don't get too fucked up. And I ignored myself. And they sent me home from uh, Ohio. And uh, Ohio, I walked out. 
And I remember about 200 people on the fence. And they hold it tight. And they made me want to come back. Ain't that some shit? I was ready to tell freedom, fuck you, I can't leave them behind. There's some good people that done their bid, deserve to be home, that communities have forgotten about. And I feel guilty for leaving. Because as a gangster, as a leader, as Quintone, as Pachi, some things I, I shouldn't be here for. That's not your business, the DA's business, nobody's business. But some of them guys deserve to be home with me. So at the end of the day, that's how it feels. It feels like you want to be free, but you want to stay loyal, and you want to stay with the people who loved you, while your family, your friends, everybody else forgot you. So yeah, it's, you know, love being twins, man. It's, uh, it's basically like you have a bag of spare parts. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like, I need a kidney down the road, I know he's got one. So I'm always like, hey, stay healthy, dude, eat right. When we were kids, we had our own secret language that only me and my brother understood. I guess we were kids, we thought we were whales. Like, when things are bad, we don't really got to say anything to each other. We just make these sounds. It's like, ah, ah. Rats, dude. What happened? Why are you hanging out with rats, man? Who? I'm in here. Flacco. Oh, oh, rats, man. Dude. Yeah. Why you do Flacco? Come over here. Sit down and let me rent you. You should not be taken away from my kids. We've been patiently explaining our positioning and listening to your complaints. For now, our conversation is over. There's something going on here that nobody is talking about. And you know what it is. You know, anyone who's ever did time with me or rocked with me knows that this is not me. This is a, a persona, Holmes. This is the way I express myself to the hand, Holmes. Knows that this is not me. This is a, a persona, Holmes. This is the way I express myself to the hand, Holmes. Knows that this is not me. This is a, a persona, Holmes. This is the way I express myself to the hip, you know? Why not laugh a little bit? Why not play the fool like Aaron Neville? Why not get everybody's guard down? Home so I can fucking slither in and sit down. Strong. Strong. Why not play the fool like Aaron Neville? Why not get everybody's guard down? Home so I can fucking slither in and sit down. Why not play the fool like Aaron Neville? Why not get everybody's guard down home so I can fucking slay the rain and sit down? You know, I gotta get mine. Um, and at the same time, get a nice little bag doing it. You know, I gotta get mine. Um, and at the same time, get a nice little bag doing it. You know, I gotta get mine. Um, and at the same time, get a nice little bag doing it. You know, I respect everybody in the game. I respect the whole YouTube genre, but like I said, homie, this is not my genre. I thought this was over a long time ago. Close your eyes and count to seven. When you wake, you'll be in heaven. <laughs> this is it, world. From now on, no more Mr. Good Guy. Several minors in my case, stupid ass. It was a newborn to be exact. <laughs> this is it, world. From now on, no more Mr. Good Guy. Adi Dewey Dembella, give me the power I beg of you. Ain't nobody trying to deal with you. You ain't got no motherfucking sense. You ain't got no conversation. You ain't talking about nothing. Go run your ass over there on the 205 and get ran over in the streets, fool. How the fuck are you fools gonna sit here and try to act all tough online and chat? When you got enemies right there where you're at, motherfucker, go bang on them, bitch. Don't go banging on people in comments. That's some fucking retarded ass shit to do. Coming online, no one knows who you are, where you're at, none of that. But you wanna fucking act like that. Come on, man. 
What the fuck is that shit? And the cool thing about it is, is this shit's carried on so long because there's so many content creators who entertain this stupid shit. And I gotta call it out like I do. Skinny guy, man, gee, you really had a child in your case? Yeah, I had several of them. I was 15 years old. I was a child, stupid. Man, gee, you really had a child in your case? Yeah, I was 15 years old. There were several children in my case, dummy. Duh. What the fuck did you think, retard? Uh Uh-huh, you guys are stupid trying to fucking spin some fucking weak-ass narrative. Fucking dumb-ass, lame-ass motherfuckers. Ah, uh, you man, listen, get the fuck out of here. We all know what it is. I'm a clown you. I'm a clown you for today. Since, since I got on my, since, since I got on my, now I wasn't a one year old, but there were several minors in my case. Stupid ass. It was a newborn, a big sack. But let me explain something to you. All is fair in love and war, homie. A house gets blown up, dog. Everybody dies. That's it. You come fucking with me and mine, that's it. Doc, there ain't no fuck missing, bro. There are no fucking innocent people in war. You're dumb. When you want to listen, when I step out and I go gangbang, I put people at risk. I put everybody right there at risk. So I'm responsible for that shit. It's like everyone now says. You gonna sit there and gangbang? You put your mother, your father, your children, and everybody else at risk. Because more kids... Over 60% of the victims of gang violence, of gang murders, are innocent victims. So what's the fucking age got to do with an innocent motherfucking victim? What? I I hate people who snitch and hurt people. Daniel, why are you speaking on California, Chicago, if you're from Arizona? Because I'm actually versed in it, obviously. I do seem to know what I'm talking about, right? Right, I know what I'm talking about. Right, people seem to be have a have a problem with the fact that I speak truth, that I speak facts. Right, right. So you were in PC or Baby Killers Walk Main Line. You got two things wrong, stupid. You're trying to conflate shit. Look, that's the devil. That's a deceitful little bastard. Look. Let me explain to you what he just did, the devil right there. So he conflated two things. One has absolutely nothing to do with the other. You're asking two independent questions. Let me start with your second one first. Are you asking, are baby killers walk the main line? Yes. Paul Ebinger from the Arizona Mexican Mafia in the Bureau of Prisons, who's actually like this. They're they're like this with the California Mexican Mafia. He's in there for killing a kid. And after the Texas, the the homies from Texas got him and another member from Arizona Mexican Mafia, he gave a statement to a lieutenant that he had to turn around and and go clean up. So yeah, it happens all the time. There's people doing that right now in California. It's, it's all over. What are you talking about? Now, was I in PC? Yes. Was I in PC? Yes. I was in PC because that very member, Paul Eppinger, he made a statement to a lead, lead detective in open court who was investigating us who was investigating us, or I was still being investigated, they were already charged in multiple serial murder. He makes a statement to the detective in open court, they're gonna kill me. Who does that? So, so, so what are we talking about? Like, what, what, are, you, what are you talking about, who? You want to talk about all those dope fiends who extort their people, or do you want to talk about those weaklings who allow themselves to be extorted? How about that? How does that feel? How does it feel knowing that 
You got a, a bunch of old ass senior citizens in the California Mexican mafia that are being protected so their assholes don't get blown out so they don't get killed. Right? While they're fucking punking out their own fucking, while they're punking out their own bodyguards. You guys want to talk about that? Those are facts. That's the California prison system, which is like 85, 90% SNY and 50, 50. So what are we talking about? Who are we talking about? What are we talking about? Huh? <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, you guys are dumb, boy. You guys look stupid. <laughs> look at the trolls. The trolls come out at night. The trolls come out at night. The trolls come out at night. Look at them. Look at how I got them. This is funny. Look at how I got you guys acting. Hey, how do I make you guys feel? I got you guys all wound up, all emotional. Look, look at how you guys are acting. What do you got? What, what do you got? Your... Mario Grande, Puro Pedro, bro. What's good, brother man? My bad, bro. My hustle is going to get on your top for entertaining shows again. I'm knowing, bro. <laughs> hey, but look, listen. Is it, it's just like I told him. Is anything that I said not true? I'm answer, listen, I'm answering questions. Hey, Trey, let me tell you something about Oscar, right? He's the most dangerous OG on the set. Let me tell you, young punk, something. I've been down on this hood a long time. I've seen a lot of things. Little bitch made motherfuckers. You a hoe, dude. You never say yes, man. You, you ain't gotta explain that shit. Fuck that punk. Fuck that punk. Little pussy. Look how he had any trigger. Yeah, bitch. Now run and act like a little girl. Go run and act like a little girl now, ho. Cause that's what you just became now. That's all that little hoe is a fucking drama queen. I'ma get word out there though. I'ma get word out there though. For real though, little punk. Yup. North side, huh? Where at? What hood you from? Conrad Wood. What's your last name? What's your motherfucking last name? Come on. What's your motherfucking last name, motherfucker, so we can get you? Oh, you talking about you gonna send him back and shit? Let's see. I'll send him. I want to see you send them back, bitch. Let me know where I can send them to. Why you playing, punk? Little pussy. All of you pussies. No, you done ran into a brick wall. Real motherfucker. Now, I ho. Look what you became real quick. Fucking retarded ass motherfuckers. Lame ass motherfucking weak ass cunts. You a fucking cunt. You got a mangina, bitch. You got a face fuck. Punk ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Later on. Hey, like me. Nobody give you no shit. Yeah, OC. Somebody getting called out for this shit, huh, Ben? Hey, Ben. When this thing's come on, somebody's getting called out, huh? Huh? That was having these hoes. That was up now. I ain't. Nothing. Yeah. Right now we bumping, dog. We flashing back to 1980s. You know what I'm saying? Right now. 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 Crazy. I'm going to go to the 
Cause my mind's on now. Cause my mind's on now. Boy. I said, oh, shoot, ma, shoot. Didn't I tell you to clean your room? Oh, ma, come on. The gang needs me. I'm the leader. Hey. You better get in there and clean that room in the next 10 minutes. Or else you're going to be walking down the street with three shoes, two on your feet, and one in your ass. Sucker. <laughs> <laughs> You know, anyone who's ever did time with me or rocked with me knows that this is not me. This is a, a persona, homes. This is the way I express myself to the hint, homes. Why not laugh a little bit? Why not play the fool like Aaron Neville? Why not get everybody's guard down, homes? So I can fucking slay the rain and sit down. You know, I gotta get mine. Um, and at the same time, get a nice little bag doing it. You know, I respect everybody in the game. I respect the whole YouTube genre. But like I said, Holmes, this is not my genre. You know, anyone who's ever did time with me or rocked with me knows that this is not me. This is a, a persona, Holmes. This is the way I express myself to the hint, Holmes. Why not laugh a little bit? Why not play the fool like Aaron Neville? Why not get everybody's guard down, Holmes, so I can fucking slay the rain and sit down. Strong. You know, I gotta get my, um, and at the same time, get a nice little bag doing it. You know, I respect everybody in the game. I respect the whole YouTube genre, but like I said, homes, this is not my genre. So let's let's just take this in right here. Um, he loves Christy a lot. He said anyway, he got here. He has Christy's name blasted across his chest. He loves Christy a lot. He said anyway, he got here. He has Christy's name blasted across his chest. He loves Christy a lot. He said he, he got here. He, he has Christy's name blasted across his chest. He loves Christy a lot. He said he, he got here. He has Christy's name blasted across his chest. So they had to send in the specialist. <laughs> <laughs> this bottle's a specialist, eh? Oh my goodness! Por favor, homeboy, delay no. <laughs> Christy lover. <laughs> Christy lover. Yeah, <laughs> Christy lover. Yeah, <laughs> Christy lover. <laughs> and why are both like his both of his shoulders? They're getting closer to his neck. What happens? Does he turn into something else if they touch his neck? Fucking Chichon, eh? Get to the point, Chichon. Hmm. This makes sense. Looking at your body shape. <laughs> Look at me like crazy. Like he didn't want to. And he's on the streets with cell phones. And somebody mails him a letter that he has to go to prison. Then he's in prison, and Avato comes to his door and says, "We need an eagle to take keep an eye on the hawks." Why couldn't Avato just say exactly what he meant? Why couldn't he tell Chichon exactly what he meant? Hmm. Delano, hey Holmes, hey, shout out to your imagination, big dog. Um, you and Wes Watson should do a program together. You should be rich and right, writing in Lambos and all that other shit and bringing out mansions and all that other bullshit with this Chafaya story. But I'm here with you. I hope it's three and I hope you, uh, I bid you farewell from YouTube. <laughs> um, this vato is on a whole nother level, eh? Look, why does he have his shirt off? There's so many questions when he doesn't have his mustache even trimmed, eh? 
I don't even know. I don't know. Hey, everybody, please be safe. Be smart and tell the ones you love that you love me. And um, shout out to Christy. No. Shout out to Christy. No. Shout out to Christy. No. Shout out to Christy. He loves you, bro. <laughs> Whew. This bottle right here is Austin Powers on a, on a prison level. No, I thought he... Hoping you take that jump no way. Don't feel the fall There's no way, There's no way. Hoping the water no way. rises You will to all no way. Hoping you take that jump no Don't feel the fall Coming from down there, look where my car's at. Down the sidewalk. I'm standing right here on the corner. I'm bobbing back and forth because and they can't see me now. Mind you, I'll give you their their view, right? Wish I had a cameraman, damn it. So, mind you, I'm like bobbing back and forth like this, and they're coming, and I'm just timing them perfect, right? Soon as he gets, he's smiling. I'm kind of smiling and shit. Soon as he gets right here. Soon he don't see my arms like back though, right? I could have just got him like that, but my arm was all the way back. I don't even hit people like that, right? My whole arm's cocked all the way back. All I can see is this. Right as he gets right here, I just drill him with the hook hard as hell, right? So I come from right here. I hit him and I'm probably, I mean, if you guys ever been in a fight or hit people or no, like once you hit somebody, for some reason, I just couldn't like, I just, I don't know. I, I just didn't keep moving up on him as fast as I needed to. It was like I was stuck in that motion for no reason, but that's just how my punch ended, right? And so he gets hit right here. He flies all the way back. Now, mind you, me and my homie agreed that he, I hit him here and his feet, he flew all the way back here and landed with his feet at least, at least off the curb on his back flat. So we'll measure. Right, so we're gonna measure. Hold on. Five feet. Five feet from where from where my fucking feet are, right? Because that's where his head would have landed. He's by actually six feet tall. So six feet. And we'll just, we'll just say from the edge of the curve, right? We'll say from the edge of the curve, right, you guys? All right? So, hold on. I'm trying to think how to. All right, so, well, all right, so that's six feet, right? Hold on. All right, here's six feet on the tape. So that's six feet already. Then we're gonna start at the corner here. Put this brick on it. I'm gonna fall down so right here. Put the brick on it. This food made me come back to the motherfucking spot. All right. Really do this, man. All right, so. 
see where it is, the corner, right? All right, so it comes to 15 feet. You guys see that? I know I'm like a shitty cameraman. So I knocked him 20 feet and told y'all I think 10. I actually underplayed it. And I knew how far it was because I dropped him. And that's why my boy didn't understand how I didn't get hit. Because from right there, another six feet, that's 21 feet from where I struck him on my son's life. He wasn't no big dude. He was about like six feet. I'm 5'10". You know? I underplayed it. Because if I'd have told you guys 21 feet, I'd have lost credibility, man. You know? And it's like, I think he flew even further. But it wasn't that he really flew, you guys. It wasn't like he was in the air. I didn't knock him like Red did, Debo. I... I drilled him face to face while he was like planted and he more or less like was like he couldn't catch his feet because the impact sent him back so fast that he was uh, I swear you guys like it'll sound like some bullshit but he was almost horizontal in the air I only saw down the barrel of the gun I asked my boy today I said what did that nigga what would he blast on me with? Because my boy was behind me, but off to the side a little bit, right? So I think it was a Beretta. I said, you know what? I'm pretty sure you're fucking right, dog. And this is the worst shit, you guys. I knew he had a pistol because I sold him a pistol back when I wasn't a felon, had legal guns, and legally sold him a banger. So I armed my fucking enemy when we were cool. So I knew he was coming at me with at least a 45 high point. At least that. It was a 9mm Beretta is what my homie said. But I mean, there it is, you guys. Look. Like, I'm not going to play no games with no... I don't, have, I don't have to lie about this life. Look. From right there. Fifteen feet. And then we'll do... Ah, oh shit, I lost the brick. 15, all the way to another six feet, you guys, where his head laid. It's gonna be about right there. And this is right where we're at, you guys. This is this used to be like one of the worst crack areas in Minneapolis. But when we lived here, that shit was dead. Them days were over. That's electric fetus right up here, like, that church, that little cross right there lights up like bright red at night, you know what I'm saying, but this is Franklin, this is the zone, you know what I'm saying, like, anybody will just get ate up in this area, you know what I'm saying, like, in the past, like, you wouldn't just be standing here, you know, but this ain't what it used to be, I could act like it is to you guys, but it's not, you know what I'm saying, so, there it is right there, look. And my boy, he, he's he's gonna be fucked up. Like, damn, you knocked him 21 feet? Yep. Started here, remember? He came from down there by my car. I rocked him right here. So he flew from all the way here. Head landed at least. right there. So the YouTube Yarda has spoken. I'm not the Llavero. I'm not the Llavero from the YouTube Yarda. Um, I'm more than a soldado. I'll tell you that. I'm more than just a soldado, you know? So it is what it is uh i have a high high rank in the youtube yarda whether you guys realize it or not so it's cool man uh the chicano express was cracking on me the reyes family says 
Hey, WCG, let me run it with that fool. I got your back. <laughs> no feria. Now that meet up anywhere in 710, homie, be exact. I'm on Firestone and K. Kyle, Firme YouTube, Firme Tube. Um, you know what? That's the thing. A lot of people, a lot of these YouTubers, a lot of these YouTubers, hey, man, I run the fade, man. Let's do it for charity and this, that, and the other. You know what? Honestly, I don't have a charity. I really don't have a charity, you know? So are you really going to run the fade for charity? I doubt it. I doubt you're going to run the fate for charity, you know. There was a, a channel that, or two channels that ran the fate for charity, and they got exposed that both of them kept the money. And not only both of them, but the people that were actually promoting the fight actually kept the money as well. And I, I want to say they made over $100,000. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure, but they said they made over $100,000. So nobody really, so, so one of them actually said, oh, we're paying for this kid's tuition to college. I think they gave her like $1,000 or two thousand dollars out of like the thousands of dollars that they got from the uh from the fight so um I, I you know what it is what it is people um they manipulate people into buying into their their um agenda or whatever it is you know so what's up what's up andy cruz so you know the people that that ran the feed and and did that that boxing match you know, um, they, they they got away with a lot of money. They got away with a lot of money, and it is what it is, you know. Uh, they scammed, that's the right word. They scammed their subscribers for that money. So I'm not gonna do that. I really don't care about running fades. You know, for me, it, it, this YouTube thing is, is just YouTube. That's it, it, it's just YouTube, man. So that was the first topic of the day. Let me read a couple of these comments. Um, the Chicano Express says, I just tapped in. Who you beefing with? <laughs> hmm. This makes sense. Looking at your body sheet. Look at that. Crazy. He didn't want to. Where can I meet you? Where can I meet you, Jerry? Where can I meet you? You talking a lot of shit, homeboy. Where can I meet you? Jerry's Jerry's in my really close to me. He's talking a lot of shit like he's about that life. Jerry, where, where can I meet you? Hey Jerry, no no bullshit. I love your beanie for it's a, you're fucking your beanie's kinda gay. Fuck. Jerry shit. Yes, I highly appreciate your GBGs in the house. Whack them. Is that right? Did you whack them off or did you fucking whack them? I need to know the details, right? Yeah, I think you whacked them off. Gracias, yes, I highly appreciate your GBGs in the house. Whack them. Is that right? Did you whack them off or did you fucking whack them? I need to know the details, right? In these times yeah, I think you whack them of off. hate and pain, we need a remedy to take us from the rain. Yeah, you have. It's nice because I always know I can stay up to date on the issue of match. Hey, I'm going to bring you that saga from tit to tat, homes, from uh, from Ruta to the Tuta, from A to Z. Until his cheeks are clapped right there on the tier, we're going to be speaking on it. And that's just facts. Vato was like, all right, already. That's enough master saying. I said, no, it isn't. He hasn't got fucked yet. And until then, until that happens, bro, we haven't fucking accomplished our goal. Our goal here. <laughs> Yes, I highly appreciate your GBGs in the house. Whack them. Is that right? Did you whack them off or did you fucking whack them? But I will go ahead and say this, man. Make no mistake about it, bro. Come that day when we come confront, confront each other inside this room, bro, you're going down. Oh, I am going to take you down and I'm going to knock you out, bro. And that's just straight up point blank.
give some thoughts of yours of this fight. What's going to happen? Is it training camp is about to start? Are we going sparring with more headaches now and, and, and training and sacrifices? And what does it start now? The official training camp? Training camp started last week, Mikey. Um, to be 100% honest with you, after knowing I was going to see the individual, obviously I knew I had to be, um, you know, somewhat sharp. Couldn't come up over here looking too sloppy. So um, obviously, you know, we're going to jump straight into training camp. You know, I'm preparing to make sure that I am uh, up to par and uh, the best amount of ability to take this individual on one on one. He's coming strong. He's coming in uh, hefty and uh, we we'll make no mistake about it. I look to shut him down. That's what's going to happen, Mike. I'm going to shut him down. That's right. And the people are excited. They want to see this thing. It's going to be live on pay per view. It's not going to be a long video. Cabron, now that you signed on the dotted line, Tony pulled up and made this thing official like a referee's whistle. I want to give your final words over to EBK. What is he, what can he expect in early 2024? EBK, man, I, I, like I said, I give him so much pop. I have so much respect for this individual, only due to the simple fact that so many answer, so many other content creators were approached first. However, they're too busy doing um, rants, making three-hour videos about each other. However, so I'm just going to go ahead and say that I respect EBK, but... It's going to be a short night that night. It's going to be a short night that night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the official face-off. His face is gentlemen, huh? So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I have it is because I'm So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm So I 
haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm... So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm trying to bubble the smaller channel up, which is the Collective Clips. You guys already know what it is, but I'm going to continue to stomp in my steel toes, headed for the murder show. Stomp in my steel toes, headed for the murder show. Do what I do right here on Gunners Collective TV, because the beat don't stop, man. It's like a whisper song. So anyways, I want to... Did you see some... Is this bullshit? Mikey, that's Salinas from Board Headquarters. Um, I got a lot of love for Mikey. A lot of respect for that individual right there. Hey, Sasso. No, no more Sasso. Now everybody call me Ron. Ron. Ron from Reynaldo. <laughs> of course, as Mikey said, he would let it all go if he'd box him, says Freddy Flores. Box who? What are you talking about, bro? Sasuke. Bang, bang. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. Box, I I can't call it like an athlete. What go? The order of there, Mikey. That's Salinas from Board Headquarters. Um, I got a lot of love for Mikey. A lot of respect for that individual right there. Okay, Ron, let's get to the point. How much you owe? Uh, I don't know, maybe 50, 50 so. Okay, that means about 100. That you owe him 10 G's for pulling on him. He says that. Oh, I don't know who that is, Freddie Flores, to be totally honest with you, bro. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know who that is, brother. The order there, Mikey. That's Salinas for board headquarters. Um, I got a lot of love for Mikey. A lot of respect for that individual right there. Oh, bro, I... Again, bro, I don't know who that is, bro. You know what I mean? I, I really don't, brother. I really, really don't. Who you owe the money to? The order there, Mikey. That's Salinas for board headquarters. Um, I got a lot of love for Mikey. A lot of respect for that individual right there. What I'm trying to do, Sasso, I mean, Ron, uh, is save your ass. In a style direct fashion, we're going to get straight into the content of the day. But before we do, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Put your notification bell on all so that we can direct you in the direction of the dope content I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support I'm getting. We're going up and it's all because of you and I'm very humble. Thank you. So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately. And the reason I haven't is because I'm... So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately. And the reason I haven't is because I'm... So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm... So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm... 
So I haven't dropped a video on this channel lately, and the reason I haven't is because I'm trying to bubble the smaller channel up, which is the collective clips. You guys already know what it is, but I'm gonna continue to stomp in my steel toes, headed for the murder show. Stomp in my steel toes, headed for the murder show. Do what I do right here on Gunners Collective TV because the beat don't stop, man. It's like a whisper song. So, anyways, I wanna. Did you see some. Is this bullshit? We'll go ahead and say this, man. Make no mistake about it, bro. Come that day when we come confront, confront each other inside this room, bro, you're going down. Oh, I am going to take you down and I'm going to knock you out, bro. And that's just straight up point blank. Give some thoughts of yours of this fight. What's going to happen? Is it training camp is about to start? Are we going sparring with more headaches now and, and, and training and sacrifices? And what? Does it start now? The official training camp? Training camp started last week, Mikey. Um, to be 100% honest with you, after knowing I was going to see the individual, obviously I knew I had to be, um, you know, somewhat sharp. Couldn't come up over here looking too sloppy. So um, obviously, you know, we're going to jump straight into training camp. You know, I'm preparing to make sure that I am uh, up to par and uh, the best amount of ability to take this individual on one-on-one. -on -one. He's coming strong. He's coming in uh, hefty and uh, we'll make no mistake about it. I look to shut him down. That's what's going to happen, Mike. I'm going to shut him down. That's right. And the people are excited. They want to see this thing. It's going to be live on pay-per-view. It's not going to be a long video. Cabron, now that you signed on the dotted line, Tony pulled up and made this thing official like a referee's whistle. I want to give your final words over to EBK. What is he, what can he expect in early 2024? ABK, man, I, I, like I said, I give him so much pop. I have so much respect for this individual, only due to the simple fact that so many answer, so many other content creators were approached first. However, they're too busy doing um, rants, making three-hour videos about each other. However, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I respect EBK, but it's gonna be a short night that night. It's gonna be a short night that night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the official face-off. His face is gentlemen, huh? <laughs> Center man charged in a Washington County stolen Valor case. The Washington County Sheriff's Office says Jacoby Timlin pretended to be a Marine, telling his girlfriend he was deployed five times. How many rights were you in that nail gun? Four. Robbie? Four. I was in one in Cleveland, Kennedy, Madison, and the school area. And actually, in almost five, because we almost got off with the Africanos, all the Rasa together, um, but it, didn't, it never happened, never materialized. We got off in the square, Me and Spokio kicked it off, that was the biggest one ever in Nellis history. Um, we cracked it, right? And then another ride was in Kennedy, when we first got there, within 10 minutes we got off. Uh, we didn't get off, the Southsiders got off on us, but it was a riot. Oh, actually five. Uh, Truman, we got off when I first got there. Um, then we got off in Cleveland. Then we got off in Kennedy. We got off in Madison. Um, we got off in Kennedy again. So six. And then we got off in the square area. Six riots. Yeah, damn. Yeah. So when I pulled up to Cleveland, uh, or pulled up to Truman, Spence out. Truman, Truman was the reception in Nellis, anyone that was there. When I, yeah, no, they pulled out the fragments of the bullets, Lucky Loco. They pulled out all the fragments. I still got pieces, but I got plastic, hard plastic behind. Dub seen the scars, he's he seen all the shit.
to see you, George, my brother. No more brothers, Diego. Why do you say that? Huh? You heard me, George. Of course we are brothers. You fucked me. I did not. <laughs> Today's topic, we're going to be talking about that boy food and feelings and dubs. Now, look, man. I know I was fucking with them. We was all cool. We was what it was. We had our little clique, our little squad. Now, look, man, we was doing good. We was fucking with each other. We was doing all that shit. And we was even supposed to be doing a traveling podcast, food reviews, shit like that. If you guys seen, we did that little link up with Food and Felons and everything. Man, everything was cool. He flew me out to Vegas and everything the first time. It was all good. And then all of a sudden, about what? I'd say probably like the second trip. The second trip when we went to California and everything to meet up with DJ Yella. Man, tell me why this motherfucker came up. I'm going to keep it real right now. I'm going to just air the drum out, nigga. Food and Felons and Doves were the next P. Diddy, man. They was trying to extort me and my sister Gigi. That motherfucker Food and Felons looked me dead in my eyes and said, Look, homie, I can get Trap on the record signed if we can get your sister Gigi Galindo to fuck for a deal. Look, homie, I can get Trap on the record signed if we can get your sister Gigi Galindo to fuck for a deal. My nigga, why the fuck would you say that, boy? And not only that, like, my nigga, like... We're not fucking with you no more. And the niggas that you tried to go get that were supposedly people from wherever, them niggas are deaded out here, fool. Them niggas can't come out here, they can't come back out here. Now look, that shit with food and felons, it is what it is, my nigga, but I'm gonna tell you like this. When we went to LA, fool, and we went to the awful lot of concert store, you know for a damn fact, nigga, I walked in that motherfucker. You were standing in there like this, food and felons were standing in there like this, and believe me, this nigga got some more money than me. But this motherfucker was sitting here acting like he was broke the whole time. I walked out that motherfucker, bought him a whole $600 fucking outfit, Including on me, I spent a good fifteen hundred dollars on me and my crew. Now look, bro, how the fuck you gonna try to throw a nigga to the curb when everything I did for you niggas, bro? Like I went against niggas for you. I got into beef with you niggas. Even when that motherfucking lame EBK family was on our ass, nigga, I was still sitting there defending everybody. Now for this motherfucker, fool and felons to say, "Oh, baby thug ain't this, baby thug ain't that." You need to change your name. It's misleading, fool. You don't even know me like that, nigga. You come out to my city, you go ask about me, nigga. You didn't even want to be around my people. What did you say to me the first time we met? Oh, homie, I'll go to your hood. I'll go to your city and everything. But I don't want to meet nobody from your hood because I'm out the way. Now, look, homie, I don't know what the fuck you got yourself involved in or whatever. And I really don't give a fuck, fig. But you know, for a damn fact, nigga, you was my boy. I fucked with you to a main point, my nigga. And you went against the grain, nigga. You switched up. And now let's talk about this. Let's talk about how you and Dubs were always sitting there after you guys fell out with Gunners Collective sitting there talking bad about Gunner the whole time. Oh, they said he went and did this. Or we know Gunner did this. All this bullshit, nigga. Man, you guys are on bullshit just like that, and I should have knew it. I should have knew it was a trick move when you guys fell out with Gunner in there, nigga. Because the the way you guys are moving. And look, this is my first beer of the night. So cheers to everybody. It's a Monday night. Get your bread in. But look, man, it is what it is. It's all love to Dubs and Food and Felons, man, but... The way we fell out, the way you tried to play a young nigga, tried to fucking, you couldn't even, bro, you guys couldn't even write the fucking contracts right. You guys couldn't get no fucking money right. You couldn't even talk about no $30,000. We couldn't talk nothing like that. But you guys are over here do, doing this and doing that. Like, bro, it's cool. I appreciate the opportunity and everything, but I'm cool on that shit, my boy. I'm just not fucking with it. But then, man, I'm going to tell you like this. Don't fuck with food and phones and does, man. Them motherfuckers will sell you a bunch of fake ass dreams and then have your ass sitting there looking stupid as fuck after, my boy. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Maybe I did betray you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, I have seen that little rant, and of course, Boxer, you should have just kept your mouth shut, bro. You have the nerve and the audacity to call me in my post-fight conference, bro. When you've been the first person that I contacted, I had so many people reach out to you, bro, because I've been wanting to box you since years ago. 51. He didn't want to get in the ring with me because I'm 51, and it wouldn't have been a fight for him. That was his excuse. <laughs> but it's just like you don't want the smoke. Just like 1090 don't want the smoke. You know what I'm saying? Just like Rojo's ducking the fade over there with Boxer. You know what I'm saying? So if Rojo don't got the stones to get in there with Boxer, 
and the gunner don't want to line it up with me, then shoot, then I'll get in the one boxer. You guys are, you know, you guys, are, I hear you guys over there looking for an opponent. Oh, we can line it up. And I'm not, and I'm not saying to disrespect boxer. I know he ain't no punk. You know, he ain't no riffraff dude. And I'm not saying it's an easy win, not because he's a very intimidating individual. He looks like he's got a lot of size on him. He looks like you know he has a lot of power. He could definitely do some damage despite his age. But you know what I'm saying? But I accept the fact, homie. If you guys are looking for a fight, let's get it on. Well, let's get it on, my boy. We can get it on. All right. We can get it on any time of the day. So what I'm saying, <laughs> I'm not even playing with you. I'm calling you up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut straight to the chase. I don't have eight months to wait for you. I don't have until November or until whenever you feel that you are uh, fully prepared for yourself, bro. I don't have six months. I have three to four months. You know what I'm saying? So if you're really about that business, because I'm gonna tell you right now that I am. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you today. We can do it this weekend. We can do it next weekend. But I already know that you need a little bit of time to prepare because you're weak. So I'm gonna give you three to four months. That's it. No more than that. Don't approach me with anything that has to do with August, September, October. I'm not available those times. That, that time is for someone else. So for you, I have until June, July, May. You choose the day. You choose the day. And I'm going to stop you with ease, man. So Mr. Maximilian, start striking up contracts. Start making arrangements. Because not only do you have the power and the resources to do it in your neck of the woods, Mr. Maximilian, but you have me now. So your resources and your extensions reach a lot further now because I also have the resources and the power to acquire a ring and venue down here in Southern California. So there is no excuses. Choose the day, boxer. You have three to four months from now to prepare yourself. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to do it with ease. I'm You wanted a drink. I just asked you for a fucking drink. No, I thought I thought you said that you were all right, Spider. No, 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 no. What you got me on fucking pain? No mind this kid. No, no, I heard. I thought I heard someone say some Spider, Spider. Spider, Spider. You ain't a fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You know that? I thought you said it was. I was all right, Spider. No, you ain't all right, Spider. You got a fucking problem. No, I thought you said you were all right, Spider. I am all right. You ain't all right, you little fucking prick. I thought I thought I am. I tell you, you been doing this all fucking night to me, you motherfucker. Want a drink now? Okay, I'll bring it. Yeah, go get me a fucking drink. Move it, you little prick. You walk like fucking step and fetch a knife. Don't play with me. But nah, nah. Hold up, hold up, hold up, dog. Hold up, dog. Hold up, hold up, hold up, dog. Hold up, hold up, nah. Fuck that shit, dog. Nah, I ain't WrestleMania, dog. Fuck you, 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 dog. You know what I mean? Fuck me, man. Come on, man. Don't do that online. No, no, because they go go viral with that bullshit saying he said fuck me. It's his platform. Nah, it ain't like that. It's love. It's what we. It's what we talk right now. No, but you know how it is, though, my boy. Like, this is everybody's watching this. No, but everybody. I mean, you could step out of here right now and say, fuck it. The Ain't interview's done with it. Fuck you, dog. And I will, though. And I will, though. If Let's I do it, if you, if you feel fuck like you need to do that, do that. Fucking mumbling, stuttering little fuck. You know that? Bro, no, 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 no. We could do that because I'm going to say fuck the interview. And I'm gonna say no, to say fuck me, bro. No, 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 no. Say fuck me, bro. No, say yeah, fuck me, bro. He did not say fuck you, He said fuck you. He did not say fuck you, No, I did say that. I did say that. I did say that. But I said it in the sense of this right here. But I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be me to let you say fuck me, though. Okay, we I know, that's the boy. Hey, baby. boy. Lefty, I love you, brother. I lefty, I love you, and I'm a man, and I'm a man, and I'll apologize for saying that to you. I apologize, bro. I apologize, brother. But so this is what I wanted to say. No, 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 no. Hold on, you good? I'm good. I'm good. You guys are making this. I just told you, Spencer, homie. I know. Didn't I just say that he said he apologizes? That's it. That's it. That's right. I mean, bro, that's easy work. That's easy, dog. I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. Hey, but I want to say this, dog. That's homie shit. That's homie shit. Yeah, that's homie shit, right? It's happening this regular. But, but you know, it's good that you caught that. This regular shit. It's good that you caught that. That's good. That's good. I appreciate it's because you you're still on your point. That's right. You're still, no, you're still on your point. We all men. Right? We all men. Hey, I'm a gangster. But, 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 I'm a gangster. Exactly. And I, I know you catch it exactly. Too. And yeah.
We I'm catch gangster, everything, baby. I'm a gangster. Hey, peak pe game real quick, though. What I want to ask you right here yes, is... You you we were talking about you bitches and all this, right <laughs> and I like it though. I like this shit though. No, nah, I'm taking my voice off. Uh, I, 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 I fucking love this. Bro. Me, bro. It's like breaking the shit. Like, check this it out. Like I, I, in jail, I, shit, bro. Like homie, yeah, 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 like yeah, like you yeah, dumb, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, dumb yeah, if you don't think I can I can't apologize, bro. No no no, that's not even a pot. I feel like I'm kicking it with the homie. Yeah, exactly, dick. So stop being stupid about this shit, homie. We are right now, but the world's gonna trip off. No, 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 fuck shit. him, fuck no, him. Cause we know what I'm right here. I'm right here with you. Yeah, dick. I'm it's glad you. I like that moment, bro, bro. Nah, dog. I'm a boy. I fuck with you. No, I dog. Fuck with you. I know it was nothing. You know it. I know it was nothing. You, you know. Know. It's nothing. No, no, boy. No, 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 dick. Here, no, Bozo. dick. Oh, Bozo right here. Bozo, Bozo here. Bozo here. Okay, we're gonna get him on here. But I wanna say Bozo this. No, dick. I wanna say this. Let me say this. Let me say this, dog. Let me say this. No, bro. What the fuck? You guys don't get animals right here. There's nothing but animals right here. You gotta look. Bozo, get right there. Hey, Bozo, get right there, baby. Hold up, Bozo just pulled up. Let him get right there, dog. Yeah, yeah, let him get right there. But I was, I was, I was, bro, you dick, like he beat me, he beat me. Damn me, I gotta say, I, I wanna say this. I was I wearing? He made me look at what I was wearing. You fucking. Asshole, dog. I want to say man. this. Shout out to Bozo, man. Bozo pulled up. Oh, hey, no, 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 no. Yes, hey, Bozo pulled up. Bozo pulled up. Talk your shit. Bozo, Bozo pulled Bozo, up. Bozo, you could only have to do this interview with your shirt off, bro. My shirt off? Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's the shirt off, bro. Okay, cool. Yeah, it's shirt off, bro. Hey, it's shirt off, bro. But, but, but anyways, before Bozo, hold on. Before Bozo got here, dog, the reason why I said fuck you, dick, is, is for this, dick. Bozo, you Let's see what happened. Hey, hold on. No, I was relax. Trying, I was flying no, over here right relax, now. fucker. <laughs> bro, get out, get out your fucking shit right now, no, dog. No, 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 no. Get out your shit. Hold on. Dick, listen. I'm listening. Listen, fucker. And what I was saying is when we talk about bitches and this and that and the other, bro, we talk about, like, the kids, bro. Are you... How is no, the kids? Back, Being a father, back, bro. Back to you saying fuck me. That's no, dick. Right. Fuck that, dog. Who gives a fuck, All dog? Right, just, That's stupid, dick. Right? I'm, I know what the fuck's going on. Yeah. OTR, tell him right now to yeah. chill the fuck yeah. out, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. Relax, fucker. Get your back ass on the. Get your, get your ass back on the mic. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just know I'm so media trained that I answer every question. Like I'm so militant with media. Like well, the relax stuff. No, 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 but no, no, you no. homie, fuck military, military no, no, training. No, 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 because no, I caught that time. media training. But they got it though. No, Dick, stop it, dog. Stop it, dog. Stop it right now. Stop it. Stop it, dog. Kids, bro. Kids, how is it being a father, bro? How's it being a father? He said, I'm not even a father yet. I'm not even a father. Hey, shout out to the motherfucking Southside Lobo that just came out with the homie, dog. That album bangs. Thank you, thank you, sir. 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 I'm not even, I don't even feel like an awkward moment like what the Raiders is. It's not an awkward moment. No, no. It's not an awkward moment, fool. Let me say something real quick. No, 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 no. Nah, it's not an awkward moment. Bro, you on my platform, bro. No, I know you. You on my platform. Chill the fuck out, dog. It's not even a Chill the fuck out. You on my platform, bro. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, dog. It's not even like that. You told me what it is. I'm like, what you mean? I already apologized, dog. So let's move forward, bro. I walked out, dog. Let's not. Let's catch a fade, bro. Let's catch a Nah, dick, what the fuck, dog? What the fuck, dog? You gonna get it past that comment, bro? What the fuck, dog? Yes, I'm wrestling. Look, bullshit. Get the fuck out, dog. I give you a platform, bro. You gonna be on my super shit, dog? Get him the fuck out, dog. Get him the fuck out, dog. Fuck you right here, right now, dog. I'll fuck your ass up, homie. You need to have respect right here, dog. You need to have respect right here, bro. You got me fucked up, dog.
truth. This, La Honda, is this your truth? I just got word that I am being paroled from the YouTube Yarda. After all the pegadas that I've done and all the time I spent in the YouTube Yarda shoe, and I was contemplating and contemplating my role, my role in the YouTube Yarda. Being in the shoe, you don't understand, man. That's all you got, man. You're just thinking and thinking and thinking, right? So I was contemplating, what, what is my role in, in this YouTube Yarda, right? So I said to myself, you know what? I'm good. I'm getting paroled. You know what I mean? I'm getting paroled, man. I'm about to go see my kids, my family. I'm about to live the good life. I'm not trying to get back in here, right? So I handed my llaves, right? I'm the llavero from Long Beach. I'm the big time llavero from Long Beach in the YouTube Yarda, right? So I handed my llaves to another person. I'm not gonna mention who it is, but I gave my llaves to another person. Now he's the llavero on the Long Beach YouTube Yarda. And then, <laughs> and then this happened last Thursday. Get You're not my blood. I'm cutting you off like they did my leg. You don't exist for me anymore. And last Thursday, right? Last Thursday was a crazy day for me. Thank you, Gil. Thank you, Gil, for um, for doing that. Because that really right there, honestly, and, and, and all love, Gil, all love. No hate, all love. But I cannot, and I repeat this, I cannot be asked to choose sides. Because I'm not down with that program. I'm just not down with that program. So I, I don't, whatever you guys have going on is between you guys, right? That, that's not my problem. That's not my people. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, as of today, March 18, 2024, moving forward, I'm going to unsubscribe to these channels right here. And there's some other channels that are in there that, that probably didn't have nothing to do with that, with what's going on, but I'm going to unsubscribe to these channels. I'm gonna unsubscribe to Run the Fade. And I'm also gonna unsubscribe to The American Cholo Podcast. Right? I'm also gonna unsubscribe to Tony Vision, which is Rhodium Radio. I just have to. I have to unsubscribe to him. Uh M O D E N T Men in Society. I don't know. I just have to unsubscribe because sometimes, you know, um, I don't know. It just, it, I just, I just have to. Freaky tales. I like it, but I have to unsubscribe due to affiliations and everything. You know, you know how that goes. You know, innocent bystanders. Locked out TV. Another one. You know, I tried reaching out to him. He didn't take it likely that I still mess with uh, William Radio, and it is what it is. And Shadow from MODNT, right? Again, these are innocent bystanders that just happen to get. And of course, marvelous minds. Marvelous minds. I have to unsubscribe to you as well, right? So these are channels that I am unsubscribing to, right? And you guys can understand why. You guys can understand why. It is what it is. You know, everything happens for a reason, right? And I'm only saying this, I'm only saying this because moving forward, moving forward, I do wish each and every one of these channels nothing but success. I wish them nothing but success and I hope they find and achieve what they are looking for in this YouTube career that they're, you know, seeking, right? I want them to succeed. They have way better things to do than to fuck with me. I, I myself used to do this before I met them. So this is nothing to me, right? Let's keep reading. Another thing I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna delete their numbers I'm gonna delete their numbers from my phone, right? I gotta get rid of the numbers. I gotta get rid of the numbers. So that I can focus on my channel and my channel alone, right? I I, I, I can't do this if I still have them in my contacts. I just can't. Now, mind you, Friday morning I got a text message from Tony, right? Friday morning, maybe around 9, 10 in the morning, I got a call from Gil and then I got another text message from Tony and then I got another call from Gil and then a call from Tony right I didn't answer their phone calls I did not answer the phone calls I did not answer the text messages because I didn't want anything 
to take me away from what I was going to say, right? So I was like, all right, cool. I'm not going to answer them. And they might have thought, oh, man, this was fucking butthurt. This was tripping, you know? I was like, hey, I just can't, I can't talk to you guys until I do what I do, right? And boo boo. <laughs> boo boo. Unfortunately, I have to take you off my social media. Gil, off my social media. I'm going to unfollow all these people from my social media. After today, I'm going to unfollow all of them from my social media. I think Shadow doesn't have social media, but that's cool, right? And I do thank you guys for the great conversations that I had along the way. And I'm talking about Gil, Boo Boo, M-O-D-N-T, which is Shadow, uh, Clown Low, you know, Tony, Morbis. I do appreciate all the great conversations we had behind the scenes. I'm not the one to speak up on people. Not on camera, not like that. I don't... I don't do that, right? Unless I'm talking, unless I'm reacting, and you know, unfortunately, Sonny was like the one that got the the best reaction out of me, right? So, here's the bottom line, right? Here's the bottom line, guys. Right? Is this gonna stop me from making reaction videos? Nah, it's not. I'm still gonna make reaction videos. That's what I do. That's what I do. But with that being said, thank Gil, Boo Boo. Norby's, Tony, Alex, MOD and T Shadow, and Clown Log for the great conversation we have behind the scenes because I'm no one to speak on that. No one. I will be taking calls. Let me put the number up. And you guys could ask me almost anything, and I will answer almost anything, right? So let me see. Forgive me. We love it. Better go to Not ever! You know that you are dead to me like Juanito. Love now. The YouTube Love now. She was real noticeable because she was real pale white. Yeah, this was all Garfield Street right here. This was the street. That's why it's closed up. You can still see the street. Yeah. Bus back, bus back. Let me see. No, no. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. No, no. Wait till they come back. I only got like eight shots. They're gonna come back. I'm sorry. Come bro. on, man. Sorry, bro. What you hoes scared of? Let me. See. Let me see. No, no, no. I got it. You see that motherfucker come back? Aim for the motherfucker driving, dog. Take his ass out. You motherfuckers really think I'm scared, punks? Huh? Don't let me see that shit. Don't let me see that mob. You know I seen that motherfucking vehicle, fool. Come back, punks. You see, you see, motherfucker. Come back, punks. Suck the block, bitch. Suck the block and die about that shit, punk. What you thought? Huh? Huh? The fuck you fool start? Huh? What the fuck you bitches skirt out for? Motherfuckers can't aim worth the fool. What the fuck you aiming at? Huh? We still, I'm still on my feet, you pussies. Got hoes ducking for cover. Now look what. You know. You know you fucked up, fools. Yup. They're trying to crash out on you bitches. I leave this neighborhood. I'm telling you, fools. I leave this bitch if I was you motherfuckers, because you're going to get it. Yup, everybody in that motherfucking house gonna get it, motherfuckers. Uh, what happened? Huh? You see me? I wanna 
don't say nothing else about it on here, but yeah. Love you, baby. We'll okay, fuck later. <laughs> Hi, how is everyone? Oh my god, I am so glad to be here. I love you, baby. We'll okay, fuck okay, later. <laughs> oh, no sex play me, dog. You a fag. <laughs> I love you, baby. Okay, we'll fuck okay, later. Oh, no sex play me, dog. You a fag. <laughs> I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. Oh, no sex play me, dog. You a fag. I love you, baby. We'll fuck later. Oh, no you, I want to say this right now. You, you fucking dumb motherfuckers that are FaceTime me, dog. You're stupid as fuck, dog. You know what I mean? Because if you FaceTime me, dog, I'm going to pull out my dick, dog, and I'm going to nut on your fucking face, dog. I'm going to pull out my dick, dog, and I'm going to nut on your fucking face, dog. I'm gonna pull out my dick, dog, and I'm gonna nut on your fucking face, dog. I'm gonna pull out my dick, dog, and I'm gonna nut on your fucking face, dog. You know what I mean? Bro, that's some gay ass shit. Look at this shit, dog. I can't stop it. It's FaceTiming. These dudes are FaceTiming. Like, they want to see... You see me bro, on the screen? You, you a gay motherfucker, dog, and you're gonna FaceTime, and you're gonna see my face. Go see my dick, dog, and... Fuck you, make it only thing. It's not very big, bro. As long as it involves sucking on fingers and sticking fingers in assholes, I'm not Wes Watson, but uh, if you want, I'm definitely be down to ride that train, brother. You got to be you a, you a gay motherfucker, dog, and you gonna Facetime and you gonna see my face? Go see my dick, dog, and. <laughs> Fuck you, make only fans. It's not very big, bro. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the 11. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the 11. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the 11. I don't got him in 11. I don't got him in 11. I got the 11. You know what I mean? Time set. I got the 11. You know what I mean? Time set. I got the standard issue, but I, I, I fuck hard. So it's all good. <laughs> hey. Wait, 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 wait. You, you a gay motherfucker, dog, and you gonna FaceTime, and you gonna see my face, go see my dick, dog, and... Fuck you, make only It's not very big, bro. But if I get the right camera angle... That's what I do, that's what I do, that's what I do, that's what I do, that's what I do. Camera angle, baby, will make that shit like... Hey, man. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah, brother. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, brother right here. Yeah, it was popping. This guy's living in a lot in here. This is a beautiful day for the south side, man. This is a beautiful day for the south side. You guys hear me? Oh. Man, I tried to come and catch you before you went to work, let you know what happened to Red Ass. Man. Which I tell you, the company would have knew anyway. There was a third person there. Plus, there's 10 people there. What would happen if I would came in the next day? Hi, guys, for twerk for work. Damn, what happened to your guy? Damn! 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 Nothing? Oh, I slipped and fell? Is that what some of you knacks that really think should have been my course of conduct? Not that I slipped and fell. So I'm covering for this drunk trip now? All for the sake of that way you can't label me a snitch? No, a snitch would have been if I called the cops and pressed charges and said this fool assaulted me. Look at my eye. He assaulted me. When I wasn't looking, he pulled my shirt on my head and he hit me five times in the temple to where I'm drawing me to a knee. Thankfully, though, because it would have blast stuff on me. I'm 
glad I dropped. It changed the dynamic. Then I had control. I got him off. He pushed me into my car. But is that that's what I'm supposed to do? Say nothing happened? Try to cover from this cover? Nothing happened. No, nothing happened. I'm going to start a new job Monday with my finger like this. That ain't facing the right way anymore, dude. Look at my freaking finger, bro. Can you see my thumb? My thumb's hella worse. Look how freaking swollen my thumb is, dog. And I talked to a nurse today. She said, you're going to have to yank on him, pull him out. So you're damn right. I called the boss and said, told exactly what that prick did. He got drunk at lunch, out of line, swung on me. Thought of the job site. That's what happened. I didn't say he rushed up on me and beat me and I was, and he attacked me and assaulted me. I said we fought. He got drunk, we fought. So there you go. I took some responsibility for it. I mean, he punched me and I punched back. But then after a couple punches, I'm like, okay, stop. I've been in a cell fight before. I fought friends. That's how you do it. It's like, what fool, what? You kind of mad over a pinochle game? What's well, up then, dog? Boom, I'm coming with punch in like, all right. Kick back, fool. You know, after a little bit. It's not this. That's losing control, bro. That's, that, that's straight up out of line, bro. I don't, I don't trust someone who does this. I would never trust that guy again. And I would never be around him. And I would never drop my guard. And I certainly wouldn't sleep in a trailer with him. A snake like that? Plus, I'm tired of bringing around this alcoholic, dude. Why do I have to be around an alcoholic? I don't drink. Dude, I don't want to live with a fucking drunk, bro. Why, why do I have to live with a drunk? I didn't go pick a drunk old lady. I don't have drunk friends. I don't drink. But yet, you're going to stick me in a trailer with a drunk, an alcoholic. And I, I just have to just take that. I don't think so. Why? Why would I have to take that? I don't have to take that shit. I don't have to, who wants to... By show of hands, and who wants to be around a drunk, bro? Is there, any, is there anybody out there who actually says, I like being around drunk people? I think people who are drunk on whiskey are fun to be around. Is there anyone out there who says that? Anyone saying, yes, I love it. I love to be around people after they take four or five shots and they're drunk at whiskey. In fact, I like my coworkers that condition. Is there anyone out there that says, dude, I love it when my coworkers get hammered on whiskey at lunch? I think it's cool. I really like it. I enjoy that. Is there anyone out there who says that? I'm not saying it. I'm saying I hate it. I'm saying I put up with it for two months. I can't stand it. Let me tell you what else happened, dude. Let me just grab while I'm on it. While I'm at it. So they all had a shindig. A bunch of my co-workers had a shindig. I live in a trailer by myself. Some of them run in a house. Others have trailers. There's about 10 of us up there. They're having a shindig. They made chicken and rice and they're hanging out in the house. The student I'm talking about my fuck, the alcoholic, starts going off on other employees, browbeating them saying he's better than them, they don't know what they're doing, he's faster, smarter, better, gonna go further in the company, he's just a better worker, just a smarter guy, he's just great, and in fact, they're not great, in fact, they need to get it together, they don't know what they're doing, that was the conversation over dinner, wow, how fun, yeah, why don't you tell us how great you are, and how sorry everyone else is, well, the boss had enough of it, the head foreman tore into his ass, and no, dude, you don't know nothing, you're an idiot, you're a dummy, tore into him, and then left. And when he left, number two in charge, other four said, yeah, dude, you really don't know nothing. You need to get together. So then this dude, like, oh, went in his room, laid down and licked his nuts. And the next day, the boss said to him, dude, I don't know what's up with you. You get you messed up on alcohol, and you start bashing people? You can't do that. We're co-workers, we're family. We're up here working together. You can't just start insulting and causing that separation and just hammering and browbeating people and just insulting everybody. And it's not only putting people down while you'd be lifting yourself up at the same time. I'm great. I'm the shit. I'm the best ever. You're horrible. You don't know what you're doing. You need to get together. You got a lot to learn. As he's hammered on whiskey, blackout drunk. Who here want, would enjoy that? Who here wants that in their life? Anyone? I mean, dude, I, if, I, if I met the most beautiful female in the world, and, and I was like, man, let's kick it. And she's like, yeah, the glad beers. I'm like, oh, never mind. Dude, I wouldn't even hang out with a fine-ass female she's drinking, bro. Much less some hairy leg idiot. I'm not doing it, dog. Tired of being, I don't want to bring around some alcoholic. I shouldn't have that forced on me. So you're damn right. I told the boss. Of course I did. This is what happened. Then I got a phone call from 
the owner and from HR. And they said, we heard there was an incident. And I said, yeah, there was an incident. This is what happened. And that's what HR said to me, man, you should have said something a long time ago. You should have told me a long time ago because that puts everybody at risk. That puts, they can lose a company, bro. What if someone died out there, bro? You, you don't think it could ha couldn't happen? With all those big heavy equipment and the electricity and the sharp tools and the vehicles and the big forklifts and the cranes and all this stuff going on and someone's a blackout drunk on whiskey, you don't think that's dangerous? You don't think maybe just maybe someone might them get hurt and get hurt bad and they lose their company? Bro, that type the boss doesn't want that. Is there is there a boss in the chat? Is there any bosses out there that'd be like, I'm, I'd be cool if my employee came drunk on whiskey. I'd be cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool if my employee came drunk on whiskey. Hell no, dog, they don't want that. And I, as an employee, I don't want to be around it. So I got a call from the owner and HR. There was an incident. Yes, there was an incident. They said, do you still want to work? Yes, I do. I didn't say I'm hurt, I'm messed up. I don't know how I'll be able to do the thing with this finger. I don't even know how I hurt, I don't even know how this happened. I didn't, hit, I didn't, I didn't punch with my left hand. I threw like three or four punches and they were all right. So either when I fell to the ground, when I took that knee, either I put my hand out to break my fall and did that, or when he was swinging, I'm trying to block when he punched my thing. So dude, that's what's up with it, homie. That's what's up with it, dog. Squall with some freaking hardcore alcoholic. Man, and here we are. And I knew it was coming. It takes something. What's crazy on the surface, him and I are friends. We kick it every day. Comes my trailer. We burn weed. We talk. We laugh and joke. But on my part, it takes a lot of effort, dude. I have to eat a lot of crow, and it just really takes a lot of effort into being cool and being this guy's friend. Way more effort than I even really want to put into it. Just because how he acts, dude. It's just so it's hard to deal with, man. It's hard to deal with, it's hard to take in somebody that's just glorifying yourself and then putting you down. And that's how it is all day long, dude. And it's just tough to be around. Or do, do you, I, do you, my, my best friend, old boy, Hot Rod, from my neighborhood, Rex and Acres, I love him. We're sellies in the whole O wing. I couldn't stand being a selly. I wanted him away from me. Bad. And when he got a bag to go to corporate, dude, I was happy, dog. I'm like, yes, get out of here. Even though I love him, he's one of my best friends because he wants to argue about everything. He wants to argue about everything. He just likes it. Just like I said, Proverbs 18 and 2, a fool has no interest in understanding you and your point. They're just arguing to hear the self talk. They're, they're not even trying to understand you. They don't even care your point. They don't care if you're making sense. You're not going to change your mind. Just want to argue. And dang, that's what it was like with Hot Rod, dude. Every day, bro. Oh, I need Chris here to answer a question. He'd be like, hey, what's, you ever read that book before? And I'd be like, yeah. Why did you read it? Why'd you read that one and not this one? What do you think it, you know what I'm saying? Because it's the simplest thing. Hand me that spoon. Hand the spoon turns into an argument. Why do you hand me with your right hand? I'm gonna hand with your left. Could have got your left hand. Wouldn't that be easier? Dude, who wants that kind of nonsense all the time? He's like questioning your every move and just like, oh, bro. Charlie Holmes. So that's what happened. Look at my damn eye. And when I got pulled over by the cop for speeding, he called the damn medic to look at me. And I told him no. But remember, I'm had a cap in the back seat of the car. Thinking, what the hell's going on? We pulled for speeding, this cop takes me out, handcuffs me. And he called, and the medics, the fire department came, looked in my eye, asked me, how many quarters in a dollar? What's the date? What's your name? Looking behind my, my area through even. I was getting nailed, dude, nailed. This dude ain't no slouch. I never said he was a slouch. I never said he was a punk. I never said he was soft. He, he's solid, as a matter of fact. He, like, he runs six miles in the morning, works out with weights. He's not big, fat. He's, he's getting on the short side. He's short, short little guy. But he's solid, and he's strong, and his hand is hard, and knows how to hit. 
And it hit me with all this freaking light right here, dog. And I felt them. And they're kind of quick. Boom, boom. And I was like, damn, my shirt's like this. I was like, fuck, oh, you're in a tough position, man. I, I couldn't, I think he was holding it. How did I even get my head back out? You're just stuck, bro. You're just stuck. And I never tried that on nobody, bro. I never seen no one else do it. And I just couldn't believe it was happening to me. They pulled my shirt over and held it. And then you're just, you're screwed, bro. You're just screwed. You're just right there, just, what can you do? And I, I have no, def I have no defense for that. Because I never think it'd be done for me. I never go into it saying, watch out, Splinter, for the old t-shirt trick. I never thought of that. I never thought to maybe you married, I stand back, we're going to take it off. We're going to just rip it in half. I mean, heck, but I'm definitely, bro, definitely. If I ever get in another fight again, dog, if I square up with some dude, I'm definitely going to take my t-shirt off or consider the situation like, bro, I'm not going to even pull my shirt on my head. Because that sucks ass. I have no defense for it. I didn't expect it. I have never seen it done by anybody. I've been in many fights, bro. And no one's ever tried on me before. I've never tried on anybody. I've seen many prison fights, fights on the streets. I've never seen anyone do it, bro. And this little bit is so slick like you've done it before. I guess it, to me, it's just cowardly. I just think it's weak. I wouldn't do it to anybody. I wouldn't feel like I'd want to fight if I was squaring off with somebody and I pulled their shirt over and I... I wouldn't walk away like, yeah! I mean, maybe if I was getting mugged, maybe if I was walking down an alley and somebody tried to attack me and he had a, he had a ski mask on, and if he had a, or he tried to take my wallet, maybe I would do some crazy trick. That's like throwing dirt in someone's eyes. You walk around with a handful of dirt. They do that, and that's why in the hole, they don't like to give you top ramen powder, because they're worried you'll be a... <laughs> what if you have some top ramen powder in your hand? And you're gonna get a fight and throw some dice. Same thing, bro. You took my vision away from me. Scandalous. Dirtbag. And we were, we'd already been chucking him, dog. And I stopped. See, here's what I learned about fighting. Always get off first. But I didn't get off first. He got off first. He came over swinging on me. I didn't expect it. Always get off first. And don't stop. And don't throw one punch. Throw combinations. And don't stop and just keep going and try to change the angle of the fight and try to change, change elevation. Get low, go for the body, get up high, go to the side, throw a couple of jabs and an uppercut and overhead right. And, and But I didn't, I'm not thinking that because I'm not thinking we're going to the death. He's over swinging on me, so I swing back. I'm pretty much like, get a hold of yourself, fools. And I was thinking, what the hell, it work? Is there any ORMAT guys around? Is there any safety guys? Where's the other employees? Joe's right here. Like, dude, kick back and hold yourself. That's the level I was on. Like, I'm gonna stop. The thing we're stopped. And the next I know, boom, that's it, man. That is it, man. Next I know, wrapped. Like five, six times, dude. Bro, but I ate him. Hey. Didn't knock me out. Should've gone for some uppercuts. Had my shirt over my head. It could have been like. But I'm sure his hand probably hurts. So yeah, that's what happened, man. That's what happened. And to anyone who thinks I should have just swept it under the, the rug and tried to cover for this drunk ass fool, bro, eat my ass, homie. That, that wasn't even an option, dude. I didn't even consider that for a minute. I didn't for one minute consider sweeping down the rug and trying to hide it. Because first of all, how? Uh, my parents can't give it away. Second of all, there was a third co-worker there. Joe. Joe was right there. Joe saw it all. So if I went to work and they the next day and the boss said, hey, what happened? And I was like, oh, nothing. Nothing happened. I slipped and fell in the shower. And then they're like, ask Joe, Joe, what? You know, and he's like, well, you know, but then I lied. Why'd I lie? I must have been an aggressor. Then I'm out of there, dude. Why? Because I covered for him? So why am I gonna lie for this dude, bro, who pulled my shirt over my head? And I can't stand to be around him anyway because he's a straight alcoholic. But I'm supposed to lie to my boss room? Got me, he got me. So not only be de demonetized, he got me fucked up, dog. Dude, you got me all the way fucked up. If you think I'm supposed to cover for him. What? 
I mean, maybe if there was no marks. Oh, yeah, for sure. Had he had not pulled my shirt off my head and we just threw a couple punches and stopped? Oh, absolutely, bro. Sleep under the rug. Cover bone. Not saying nothing. Tell Joe, hey, dog, kill game. We'll work that out. I mean, it would have still sucked living in the trailer with him and driving to work. Maybe I would have figured out something else, get my own place, drive my own car. But you for sure, bro, if it would have just been those first couple punches. Yeah. But after the shirt thing, dude, after this to my eye, and it's, it's too much. I'm not gonna cover for him. Now I don't wanna be around him because now I don't trust him. I'm not gonna, no. So I don't wanna be repeating myself, but. Exactly. It's a career, not a prison. Exactly, Jason, a straight up idiot. Because there's no. If I would not have told, if I just went back to the trailer and just licked my nuts, and then went to work the next day, they're gonna say, what happened, bro? They have to report all injuries out there. They have to report all injuries, dude. If they would see an injury and be like, whoa, well, what happened? Did you like fall and trip? Did you hit your face on a rock? Like, they're not just gonna be like, see this and not say nothing. Oh, you think my boss and other coworkers are gonna see this and just not say nothing? Like, no, they wanna know what the hell happened. Cause they can keep track of all injuries out there, bro. It's a big deal. Worman's comp, people get hurt. That's why they have a big sign on the wall. It's been 368 days since there's an injury at this location. There have been 369 days since there's been an injury at this location. They keep track of injuries, dude. Very carefully. On my last job, I cut my hand. By accident. And it was with a dull razor blade, and I didn't tell no one. Of course, I kept that on the DL. And the next day at a safety meeting, the safety guy said, yeah, someone cut their hand yesterday. And I was like, the hell? It's not about me. How the hell do you know that? And you guys try to be more careful. How did he know, dude, that I cut my finger, finger man? I don't know, but he keep track of injuries. So I would not have been able to go in there and be like, I just show up like this at work. Lip busted, look at my hand. Finger facing the wrong way. Ow, ow, I can't pick that up, ow, ow. Oh, nothing happened. And then they ask around. It would have came out and he's got a bust of lamp and I got a, both of us are injured. What happened guys? Nothing. Why don't you both get fired then? Cause obviously you fought and you're lying and you don't want to keep it real. No dude, I'm not gonna buddy up with him and like try to sweep around the table and just be all, let's get away with the dog. No way, cause there's no, that's us. There's no us. There's with him, me, to your people. What he did was out of line. And I'm not gonna cover for him bro. I'm not gonna lie to my boss, cause I would've lost my job. It would've came out in the wash anyway. They would've known, dude, for, for sure. They would've known. Dude, people have probably seen it. I don't even know they got cameras out there. I'm sure probably Ormad did see it. It's just right there. Probably all kinds of people seen it that I don't even realize, dude. And then if I say nothing happened, then I covered up that I'm a liar. And I'm, and I'm supposed to cover up for this drunk dude? I'm supposed to let this dude take shots of whiskey at a bar on a lunch break and cover for him? No, nothing happened. No, nothing happened. With my drink, no. Was he drinking? No. What was his name? Oh, fuck him. There was a lot of people that name. Was he drinking? No. Why would I do that? Why in the world would I do that? I'm serious, motherfucker. Just go for it. Yes, I'm serious. Are you serious? Just get the fuck out. Are you serious? Just get the fuck out. Are you serious? Motherfucker! Oh my god, stop! Come on, man. This is, it's ridiculous, dog. I, I just, I, I was, I was fucking shocked. Told me that when I seen, when I seen him behind my daughter, dog, like fucking taking pictures of us. I was, I seen, when I seen him behind my daughter, dog, like fucking taking pictures of us. I was, I seen, when I seen him behind my daughter, dog, like fucking taking pictures of us. I was like, who the fuck is this? His homeboy? Like trying to take a picture of me? You know? And then, and then walk off fucking smiling, like, like what are you doing, fool? Yeah. And you know, it's, it's crazy though because he, he acts and it's a fucking game for him. But as soon as you got into his face, this guy said, he, this guy wanted to run away. He wanted to Yeah, what's up? Like, what's up? Who? Oh, well, you tell me. You tell me. It's about the paperwork. Like, what do you mean the pay? This has nothing to do with no fucking paperwork, fool. Like, it has nothing to do with that. Stop using that shit as a, as a fucking excuse, fool. 
You got a problem with everybody that's got a problem that that is friends with me, homie. You're telling them to pick and choose sides and 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 oh, if you're friends with Marvinus and the whole Chicano thing and and all this and that, fool, calling yourself a fucking uh, a super active gang member and all this and that. Well, be that then, fool. Be that. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. Do that. You know, you, you you're right there hiding inside your pad, posting up pictures of, of bottles at your door on the internet, ratting them out, homie. And then you're gonna call yourself active, holding little homies down and calling the hurras on them when they're writing on the wall. Thank you. When they're writing on the wall, like I mean, and, and I, it, it's sad, homie, that all these bottles that go and hop on, go and hop on his show and. And you know, they think they're talking to a solid one, dog. Nah, this is gonna be the first one, homie. The first one to fucking throw rat. Now I know you're gay. How? How do you know I'm gay? What's going on, everybody? This is Norbies. This new documentary called Do I Sound Gay making its way around film festivals. It explores the idea that voices can reveal sexuality. What's going on everybody? This is Norbies. What's going on everybody? This is Norbies. This is Norbies. This is Norbies. You know how I know that you're gay? What's going on everybody? This is Norbies. And I'm just here to leave a message to everyone. Period again. <laughs> That's a joke. This is Norbeast. This is Norbeast. This is Norbeast. Oh, That's a nice placa you got there, Esse. You should be riding with me, not fucking with me, carnal. Hey, don't you call me carnal, you piece of shit. I'm not your brother. This is what happened, fool. And first of all, I wasn't even gonna say anything, fool. I was gonna keep it to myself. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool, and his daughter. But it's not like it was before, Carnal. It really isn't. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool, and his daughter. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool, and his daughter. Fool. So that's yeah. who was there. Yeah. So I get, I'm out at the food court. I get a phone call from somebody. And it's, hey, that fool Marvelous is here. But he's with his daughter, right? Yeah. So I'm like, all right, cool. I told my homie April, come walk with me, let's go. I told my homie April, come walk with me, let's go. I told my homie April, come walk with me, let's go. And to me, it's it, it was a hard pill to swallow, just like how it was when I had to say, I don't bang anymore. I don't bang anymore. I, don't bang anymore. I told my homie April, come walk with me, let's go. It was just me and my homie went over there, right? Me and my homie Wino. We're walking up and down the aisles. I'm looking for this fool. Boom, I see him. He's talking to that guy with that blue jacket on, right? Yeah. I go, I get close to him. As soon as I get close to him, he looked at me, that fool looked, saw, he looked like he saw a ghost, fool. And then I put my phone on, I said, and his daughter was taking a picture of him too. I said, oh, no, no, I'll take the picture. In other words, I don't want to front this fool in front of his daughter. Okay. Right? But I'm letting you know, I'm right here, fool. To say I don't bang is one of the hardest things I've ever done. Boom, that's not when we talked, right? He got on the phone and started scrambling, looked all nervous, bro, all panicalote. So I walk, I walk down a couple of aisles. I stop in an aisle, I see him coming. So I'm, I'm mad dogging him. I'm mad dogging him. I'm mad dogging him. I'm mad dogging him. Fool, at this point, like, hey, fool, what's up? Like, let me get at you. Yeah, for sure. My thing is to let the youth know. What an example to set for the kids. <laughs> What's up, boy? Fucking oh, tripping, dog? Whoa, fool! You got a problem, dog? I'll fucking whoop your ass right now, man. And it is what it is. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a gangster. I'm a YouTuber. Are we YouTubers? Or are we gangsters? Are we YouTubers? Or are we pintos? I'm a YouTuber, eh? Everyone who has spoken about me, I've made that phone call. And it is what it is. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a gangster. 
I'm a YouTuber. That's the only fight that I want, a hundred percent. Exactly, she got Miss Christine. Appreciate you for sure. Look, Conejo got up in the ring with Tony. He did his thing, and Tony was heavier than him. Well, yeah, I would say heavier than him because of his height, right? Um, I think they were the same, like body size, but not height. You know what I'm saying? And I would definitely. You the bomb. Hey, runner. Come on, dog. Fight me, my boy. Fight me. Come on, cabron. Don't be scared, dog. You already said it a thousand times. You think you could fucking beat the shit out of me, right? So, why not? Why not? Ain't nothing gonna happen to you, bro. And that's another thing I wanna say. For anybody out there listening, if you ever run into Gunner, bro, don't you ever dare try to hurt this dude. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. This type of dude is not even worth you doing time. Not even a single minute in the county jail or single year in prison. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it. This is not the type of individual that's worth you sacrificing your freedom. Plain and simple. But I want to see him. It's not going to happen. I hope it does. He's a fucking coward. Mauser, <laughs> Mahoney is right. The rest of your men tried as hard as these officers. We'd have this gang licked in no time. Good work, man. Keep it up. See you at the gym. See you at the gym. ¿Cree que debería llamar la poli? Pero ya lo llamaste la poli. No. Llámalo. Sí, ¿verdad? Si llama la poli. Tal vez sí. Hey, wey, he, he took out some blood. No, está bien, gracias. Ajá. Sí, I think. Should I call the cops on them? Should I stay here? I mean, definitely assaulting me right here. We have to prove you guys are all witnesses. Should I shut down American Cholo now? Ooh. Hey, at least you didn't knock on my glasses. All right, guys. All right, I won. I won. All right, guys. All right, I won. I won. What's up, everybody? It's Norby's, your host, live from North Hollywood. I noticed somebody was talking about me. And you know what? Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti. Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti. Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti. For this one, for this one, for this one. I don't know if you guys seen the video, but it looked like a fucking Norby's got back the fuck up. Was it just American Cholo? I don't know. The video says, you know, Norby says that he turned around or whatever, and then American Cholo just started wailing on there, pop, 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 grabbing them and pop, shooting him up and down and pop, 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 pop. I don't know, man. What do you guys think?
think, man? Do you guys think that it was just American Cholo with somebody else? I mean, it is what is it? Monday night? Did American Cholo have a podcast tonight? Did he have some guests? <coughs> or did uh, Murphy's call him up and say, you know what? Let's meet up at your studio. I know the Addy. Let's run it. <coughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. What the fuck is going on, man? Holy shit, man. But, uh, let's see what he has to say. Will he open the door? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see. Farmer's insurance. I'm going to say maybe the E. Which one do you guys think it is? Is it this guy right here? E? Gil, you in there? Gil. I'm pretty sure that's his truck right there. Says he wants to talk. Let's talk. He wants to talk about me. Let's talk. Yo, is this one your studio? I'm guessing it's one of these two because he put this truck right next to it. Yo, I'm just here to talk. That's all. Just talk like men, like men do. If anybody don't hold Rasa accountable, let it be Rasa. Yo, is that you? We might as well be, this talk has been needed to happen. So, let me ring the bell. I don't mean to be rude, but I need to find him so we could actually talk like real men. If not, we'll stay here either till my phone dies or he comes out. Cause uh, we should have be able to like talk as men. If not, we'll stay here either till my phone dies or he comes out. Cause uh, we should have be able to like talk as men. As you can see, I have the protection. Just me by myself, nobody else. Here looking for American children. That's his truck right there. Yo. In the world of my creation, what we'll see. Does anybody know which one it is? It's gotta be one of these. Let's see. We got farmer's insurance. I don't think that's it. We do have this one. Oh, there he is, guys. There he is. Yo. The video shows a young man in a bandana covered in what appears to be dirt or blood repeatedly slamming himself into the front door of a house. <laughs> On his third attempt to break down the door, he apparently knocks himself out after hitting his head. Stumbling after the impact, the man collapses over the front porch railing, knocking over an ornament in the process. He groans in pain as he flails his arms and raises his legs, seemingly trying to get back on his feet. But the video ends before we can see what happened next. I'm right, aren't I? That's what really happened, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes! Watch this! So, everybody, he ran back into his office. Got me by surprise. Natural. <laughs> Anything I fear. He waited exactly when I wasn't looking. Let him come back out. Let him come back out, guys. <laughs> hey, girl, I know you gotta stay in there. Girl, I think he thought I was gonna get Kate Odin and just leave. This is insane, man. Okay, so do you guys give street cred to Norby's for doing what he did? What he did? Because you guys all know, you and I know that Norby's is not from the streets. Now, I myself, I've been around, you know what I mean? I was a tagger, I hang around with gangs, so I know the streets. But according to Norby's story, he was raised in North Hollywood with Asians and whites and in a nice neighborhood. So does Norby's get street cred for getting his ass beat by Gil? I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me you guys honest opinion, man, because honestly, honestly, I think this is insane. This is what we call <coughs> taking it beyond YouTube. Now, did Norbys have to do this? Did he want to do this? What proof did he want to get out of this? Did he want to prove himself being like, I'm fucking street quit, homie. I do what I do. I'm gonna go over there and set an example. <coughs> did he have to do this? And why did he do this? I don't know, man. This is a fucking insane, man. Hey, 
breaking shit, man. What the hell did you do this for, Norbit? Norbit, I'm talking to you. I know I don't talk to you personally no more, but goddamn, why did you do this, man? Why did you? Uh, how can I rip this? Uh, Norbit is like. I can't rip it. I can't rip it anymore, but whatever. What's up, everybody? It's Ryan G tapping in for another reaction video. Today, we're going to check out a Pelican Bay riot. See, Pelican Bay is notorious for the shoe. They got all the high power soldiers over there. I mean, it's a notorious California prison. When you think about California prison, you think about Pelican Bay shoe. All right, well, this is a riot on the yard that occurred in 2000. So we're going to check it out and let's get it. See, it's a normal morning. You know what I mean? Yard time is giddy. Boom. There we go. Jump in the fence. Okay, now they have barbed wire. Yeah, look. Getting it in. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. People getting knocked out. Pepper spray cans going everywhere. You can see the seals in the big long jackets. To see them spraying them, spraying them, still getting down, still getting it in. Boom. Boom. Fishes. There's a bunch of seals. There wasn't that much when I was in my right. I don't even know. I don't know. I blacked out. I've been, I've been hurt before. Like I said, I let my guard down. It's all right. I got blacked out drunk. You don't love me. Anymore. The last brewery of the night. Went to a brewery. Ended up, I don't remember Someday. being. I don't remember leaving. I'll find a way without you. But I got a phone call this morning. A <laughs> couple of them. Where am I kidding? I got jumped last night. <laughs> I got jumped last night. <laughs> uh, I got jumped last night. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something. I got jumped by two. Look, look, look. Both of these dudes were well over six feet. One of them was the guy I jumped. I went in the bus with, and we had some beers together. Yeah, that guy looked like a lumberjack, big old boy. The other one was this big fat dude, and I don't remember the fight. Stand up, asshole! I don't want any trouble. Leave me alone. I can either kick your ass while you're sitting down or while you're standing up. It's your call. Fuck your shit up, Raymond. I told you I didn't want to fight. Fuck, I told you. But obviously, they did, they did a lot of damage to <laughs> Look at Look at all beat up. Man. I ain't that big. This is what I do. But it was a lesson. 
I woke up, I was like, why are my fucking hands sore? I'm not proud of it. It could have went all bad. It should have went all bad for me. Two dudes that big jumping on me. Supposedly at one point, I guess the very first punch, I got sucker punched, I got dropped, got back up and started chunking them with both of them. I should have been stomped out. I shouldn't be here right now. I understand that. The type of person that I am, I'm always, always extremely aware of my environment, my situation, what's going on. Because I had blacked out, I didn't sense that there was something in the air. And I got touched. Uh, I'm an old man I'm not supposed to be in these type of situations I don't know what triggered it I don't care what triggered it All I know is I should not have gotten that gun Around a bunch of people I don't know You know I know I was happy And I was having a good time And, and I, I wanted to enjoy the celebration um, and, and as much of an idiot as I used to be You don't ruin that, that type of celebration You don't ruin somebody's birthday Right? Like, whatever was the problem, why did these two big ass motherfuckers feel like they had to team up? <laughs> they could have easily said, hey, let's, hey, you know what? Let's go around the corner. Head up, hey. Cool, let's go. Who, who, who's afraid of that? But that wasn't, uh, apparently, that wasn't offered. And what I was told, I got socked and started fighting two dudes and then. Somebody came to break it up and I socked him too because I didn't know what was going on. So I'm just socking everybody that's coming near me. And that could have been all bad. It, it, uh, I can't be doing that. I can't go to places with people and, uh, allow myself to get that drunk. You shouldn't either. You never know, no matter how happy you are, how much fun you're having don't know what's going on in the next man's head the next man's heart I don't know what happened to trigger it and it doesn't matter again I should have never I told myself before I drank one beer don't get too fucked up and I ignored myself so that's the lesson for me Got me fucked up. I go to your house tonight, Jerry. Where you at? <laughs> hey, hey, boy, I gotta say, it. You gotta say it. Like Listen, you're not far from me, homeboy. I'll go to your mm -hmm. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, you don't nah, fucked up now, nah, bro. I'll go to your mm -hmm. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Again, I should have never. I told myself. Before I drink one beer, don't get too fucked up. And I ignored myself. So we give a two types of different entertainment, but at the end of the day, it's great entertainment. Like I'm a big Dutch supporter and he watches my shit. So we support each other. When are you guys going to have a collab together, uh, patio, carne asada? We've done that before, but we can do it again. Mm. But last time it was sushi, right, Dubs? Yeah. It was sushi, and this food made it look like I ate the same fucking at a mommy and Sam. This food made it look like I ate the same fucking at a mommy and Sam.
our, our history is being wiped away right before our eyes. Our children are being caged. Imagine all the stuff that's good that you, when you put it into context, this is, this is just another scrape at, at that erosion of, of who we are as Raza, as people, as human beings. I want to let especially young people know in your low moments, just know, uh, don't ever get so depressed that, that it really sinks you because on the wall were a lot of heroes and behind every hero there's a story. And that should give you a lot of animo to keep going, all right? Because no matter how low it gets, you just gotta keep fighting, you know, for yourself, your life and your future and future kids. <laughs> so um, I say that and thank you all for coming out. Mexicano, mexicano, uh, anglosajón, afroamericano, chinese, todos estaban ahí representados. Y esa es la raza, la raza, digamos, de este país, de una comunidad, digamos, multicultural. Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Then he takes her back to your house and there they are kissing. If you want to confront them together, Let's we go can away. go do it right now. Let's go. She has them explaining the dude. Let go of his hand. What's your problem? Huh? What the hell's your problem? From cheater surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live. Documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. Right, I wasn't even tripping, I didn't even know who that vato was. And then... Who is that vato? Who is that vato? Who is that vato right there? Hey, she goes to... Who is that vato? Who is that vato? Who is that vato right there? Who is that vato? Who is that vato? Who is that vato right there? Hey, she goes to... Hey, look at... Hey, look, he does. But this will tell you guys I'm telling the truth. Right here, yeah. Did I... Remember I told you the story when... I'm going to make a statement on the past guest that was here, bro. That's right. What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? Asshole. You're fucking shit. Where did you learn your trade, you stupid fucking cunt, you idiot? Who ever told you that you could work with men? And he made a comment on my Instagram, and this has got nothing to do with This is me and you guys right here right now. Check it out, dog. That dude, fucking Kenny Thumb Thunderbird, is a piece of shit, bro. You know what I mean? I had to block him on Instagram, bro, because I'm seeing when you guys mention his name right now, dog. I'm gonna address this right now, dog, because it fucking irked me, dog, a little bit, dog. Dude, the, the dude could be just such a piece of shit, dog. You know what I mean? They said he said on a, a comment on one of my things, he said they running up the bag because the homie got shot, dog. They running up the bag because the homie got shot, dog. Stupid ass motherfucker, dog. Check it out, homie. We're running up your bag, homie, promoting your motherfucking book, supporting you. Support, homie, nah. is the main thing, bro. Support. We support so many people right here on this podcast, bro. You best believe that one of the boys, one of my colleagues right here on Hoodstocks, dog, it, it has, has uh, goes through something like that, dog. Am I wrong? 
to ask the community for support when we support the community right here at Hoodstocks. You stupid as fuck. The same community that's supporting the big dog groups, the same community that supported you and put money in your pocket. But when you were getting money in your pocket, bro, it was okay. But now that somebody is laying in a hospital bed, you got the audacity, homie, to make a comment on my shit like that, dog? Homie, slap yourself, bro. You slap yourself. Slap yourself. Slap yourself. Mr. Mr. Porter. Uh, Porter. Slap yourself, bro. You just a stupid motherfucker, dog. And you know what, homie? You, you know what, bro? They talk about scum on the earth, bro. I'm gonna say you scum on the earth, bro. You know what I mean? You yeah. speaking on too much shit, bro. You locked up in that room, tweak the fuck out, fuck out, running your motherfucking mouth, dog. You know what I mean? And, and hope to God that I'll never see you, dog, because I'll slap your ass the fuck up. I'll slap your ass the fuck up. I'll slap your ass the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I slap your ass the fuck up and I ain't trying to internet bang dog but it's just like you a stupid ass fool dog get the fuck out of here right here we are a community right here the same community that helped you out is the same community that we help each other out dog you know what I mean? We are a family right here, bro. And you are cancer in the family, dog. And you will never touch this platform again, bro. You know what I mean? You'll never touch this platform because you're an ungrateful piece of fucking shit, dog. And that's all I want to say about that. And I apologize to you about that, but I wanted to say that, you know, that's just horrible, dog. This, you know, there's horrible people in this world, people dog. Are Oh, but we can do it on another one. <laughs> <laughs> another one. <laughs> another one. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't tripping. What do you want me to do? My bad, Hunter. My what bad. Do you want me to do? Oh, what do you shit. want me to do? Okay, do? Look, hey, look. If you, if you, what's really, up? Look, look. Hey, 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 hey. If I come across Lucky, Lucky ain't gonna get a test. <laughs> Lucky, you ain't even gonna see that. That's all I'm gonna need. Imagine right there, look, look, to Lucky. Cool though. Look at you see how hard that is, dog. Oh shit, it ain't ready, homie. Oh shit, hey you tells him to jump, these motherfuckers will jump. And I hope to God their numbers start falling and their their followers start seeing that these guys are literally getting used by one widow. This widow is on fucking cloud nine. This widow is just literally is thinking, I have the the fucking browns and the blacks working for me 
These motherfuckers all work for me. They're gonna act. They're gonna act like fucking monkeys for me. The blacks are gonna be monkeys for me. The browns are gonna be monkeys for me. I think it's crazy how these fools are. Are they're monkeys? The blacks on no jumper are monkeys. The browns on no jumpers are monkeys because they're gonna jump every time. Adam sixteen says jump, jump. Fucking was to get to Adam sixteen. I already knew American cholas go. to get rid of the curse first trick and drag it is what it is dead issue um he went out like a punk everybody knows that uh Kibo on youtube uh exposed it and spoke it real when he came out with that incident that happened and uh got off uh deleted the youtube channel and what happened was that little lame ass trick and drag bitch main motherfucker him and his wife yoli loli whatever she goes by had more balls than him we called him up he probably pissed his pants when he called his homies and told dubs mrs dubs don't fuck with capone you don't want to fuck with him just don't fuck with him he probably pissed his pants so that's a dead issue oh. og capone this was dedicated to savage studios corcoran state prison the real story of what happened to Savage Studios, because I know this Vato. I don't know him very well, but I've seen him in the California prison system when he was active. I didn't know he was a deuce fiver until two to three years later. So don't get me wrong, don't quote me on the shit. He was up on B Yard Corcoran, I'm gonna say 2008. B Yard, New Corcoran, Sad F, Substance Abuse Treatment Facility. Uh, I touched down with uh, Major from Rancho uh, Cucamonga Dog Pack Gang with Woody from East Los Mata Via Boy Heights. There was, uh, so let me be exact, Total from White Fence. There was Cold Man Killer from uh, West Side Longo. There was Trooper from East Side Longo. Uh, Pony Boy from Barrio Bakers. And many more. The Gladiator Wars. Uh, Savage was up on B Yard and he was uh, from Pacrema. He was from a blood gang. And uh, he was pushing that. And they have a different style. You know what I mean? We get jumped in and 
people from a uh, black gang, when they get locked up, you get dissed by the homies, by the south side of Sorrentos, you know what I mean? You gotta put up with a lot of shit, you know what I mean? I'm speaking to real, anybody has been the pin, if you're from a black gang, it's disrespect to the south side of Sorrentos. So you're gonna deal with a lot of shit, you know what I mean? And he could take the heat, and uh, what happened was, what happens when you're from a black gang and you're a Serrano or a Southsider and you're in the prison system, you gotta keep it with your people. It's all about race, you know what I mean? And he was from a black blood gang, you know what I mean? So they're in the front lines, you know what I mean? And they're forced to cause it. Same with the residents. They're, they're like a little bit behind them, you know what I mean? When it comes down to politics, because if you're a resident, you gotta go front lines, but if you're from a body or a real gang, you got the choice to say yes or no. If you wanna do a hit, you got that choice. And this is real fucking prison politics. I'm speaking it from a real surrender. G59185BF38833. And uh so I'm speaking it real, you know what I mean? So he went up there and they were uh, politicking against him because he's from a black gang, they were picking on him, like clowning him. The savage had enough. He said, that's it, homeboy throw down. And what happened, they went into the back room and they start talking. The south side of Serrano, and they start talking like, what's up with this fool, man? Like, fuck this fool, you know? And they, they rushed him on the yard. They, they got the authority to rush him. But Savage, he didn't have to PC up. He didn't have to ask him why. It was a personal conflict. But he PC'd up, and later on, he became a despiser. He didn't have to do all that, but every man chooses their own path, you know what I mean? I'm not saying that he wasn't down. I ain't saying nothing. But when he went on YouTube saying, fuck the anime, fuck the Mexican Mafia, you gotta get this straight. Everybody watching, there is no saying sorry. For the big homies, dog, there is no saying sorry. The damage is done. They're very patient. You know, they're very patient, you know, but once the damage is done, it's done. There's no saying sorry. And that's what happened. We all know the outcome. You can't go up on YouTube talking shit, you know, like Mrs. Doves and his wife is pretty down. I give her that, you know, more down than him when it came down to it, you know. Yeah. I won't fuck with that tranny though, Yoli, uh, Loli, Mrs. Santa Barbara. I don't know who's worse, uh, the Heine or Mrs. Dubs, you know. <laughs> oh, you can pull a San Diego home, boy. Keep your fucking name out of West Watson's mouth. Keep your motherfucking name. Talk about West Watson in the woodpile. San Diego with the fucking homies are together as one. San Diego skinheads, lakeside gangsters, along with homies from Southern California. Keep fucking West Watson's name out your mouth. He has his own issues, making millions. He ain't fucking with you bitch ass dubs. Either am I. If you want to get him up, you little punk bitch. Punk bitch dubs. Your wife has more heart. She has more clout in the hood than you. Fucking Lady Pink had more fucking clout than shit on all of Mac and shit. Talking about rappers, talking about new forces. I never heard of you, G59185, 2011, 2014. New Folsom, shot caller, roll call. You wanna get them up, Mrs. Dubs? Or oh, Capone, roll call. New Folsom, shot caller. With Good Henty, Body of Bakers, Pony Boy, Bakers. Psycho, Wither, Dead Ends. Poison from the NOR, Nazi Lowriders. Ghost, Brown Pie Serenios. Good Henty, Bakers. The Monster for Mr. Homeboys. San Diego, I am, motherfucker. It was a term that we used in prison, and it meant something pretty damn serious. Something pretty serious happened. Nowadays, with all the hoopla of social media and people wanting views and people wanting likes and you know just people getting drunk off of clout this term since when have the definitions to some serious terms taken such frivolous meaning let me know what you guys think in the comments so this is OG Capone, actor Serrano, G59185, BF383 Calling on Santa Barbara, go to the Valley in Oxnard, Ventura, the Avenue Gang, much love. I did time with you all. I don't have shit with you guys, dog. I did time with you all, you know. But Dubs, he talks a lot of fucking shit, man. He ain't about the business hiding in his fucking basement. His fucking wife has more balls than him. Ain't that tattoo on my shoulder to prove he the successor? The Avenue's much love. What about Flock and Ghost? Corker State Prison, the real gladiator wars. The time with them against the North Day. You know what I mean? I don't have shit with Santa Barbara. 
Santa Barbara, much love, homeboy, much to you on homie, you guys with the business. You know what I mean? You guys with the business. I talk without you. But Dubs, he talks a lot of motherfucking shit. He can't fucking back up. And that's where I come in, motherfucker. Dubs, fuck you, and I'll fuck your fucking wife, homeboy. Fuck you, you are talking shit about me, motherfucker. Put your fucking paperwork with your fucking mouth in, motherfucker, and I'll blast you, motherfucker. You know the people? They were throwing rice and shit. Look at mama. Pull over up here. I gotta take a leak. I gotta take a leak. If he was so bad, and he was who he was, and he ran what he did, then why the fuck did he tell? Chapter 50, Closing the Dark Chapter. On June 12, 2012, after being in custody at the Santa Clara County Jail for almost eight years to the day, I was finally called to testify at Lancho's trial. I was finally called to testify at Lancho's trial. I was finally called to testify at Lancho's trial. Hey, I can't, I can't, that's, that's, that's a good that's, point. All that being hey, on the hey, box hey. and do all that shit gets thrown out the window once he told. I was finally called to testify at Lancho's trial. Nah, yeah, he'd be barking. Period. You got to understand. Hey, 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 Bobby, that's and and I totally agree. Hey, look at this. Is what, I'm gonna, bro, what bro, I'm gonna say about that, bro. What I'm gonna say about that is the position boxer was put in was nasty. Yeah, look at there's. I don't hey, think Bucky put himself in it. When you step to the table, you eat, homie. Hey, you step to the hey, table, you eat. You eat that motherfucking hey, sentence. Hey, I'm all the way up here in Yuba County, and boxer was a legend. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and look what he did in the end. Is that a legend? Finally called to testify at Lancho's trial. Hey, Is that what hey, legends do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. Any gangster, any gangster in the world that's that's gonna that's gonna fucking uh, goddamn pick his 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 club, his gang, or anything over his wife, you're fucking weird, bro. Is that what legends do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. Any gangster, any gangster in the world that's that's gonna that's gonna fucking uh, goddamn pick his 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 club, his gang, or anything over his wife, you're fucking weird, bro. No, that means you're a weak motherfucker, and you should have never been in this shit. You chose what you chose when you signed up for it. Period. Let's not forget, Luscious is a Southsider. Let's not forget, Luscious is a Southsider. Let's not forget, Luscious is a Southsider. Sir, this man gets 12 gauge left from gone. Why they got me battling an L.A. version of El Pinjan? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Lamborghini, they wore my Sunday. Lamborghini, they wore my Sunday. They wore my Sunday. One of the biggest dope dealers in West L.A. Lamborghini, they wore my Sunday. One of the biggest dope dealers in West LA for like a period of time. Weed? Nah. Uh. Etc. Okay. You feel me? Like, yeah, I was I was I was in the game in the game for really? like yeah, for, yeah. For a few years there? Yeah, what? yeah, like really like one year solid, like of like dumb jugging and a bunch of other activities which you, you sound very confident that you made it out of this unscathed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm solid. I'm solid.
The eyes are a window to the soul. You can see right through them. What do they expect from me? That's a good question. Take um, a close look at this guy's eyes. Before Jason answers, he looks up to the right. So look, real quick, just wanted to make this post real quick. Um, so apparently my show and that water has been canceled. Sheriff's department shut us down. After a few Yikes. permits we had to pay because of you know social media pages that social media ig pages that were made to plan you know um i don't know whatever you want to call it after a few permits we had to pay because of you know social media pages that social media ig pages that were made to plan you know, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Looking up in the right means you're making up something. You're visually uh, picturing something that's never happened, you know. That's a lie. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. Whose blood you seek? They are welcome to join us. Would you bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? You see, I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. Doesn't it? You. Yeah. What is your profession? I'm a butler. And you, Arcadian, what is your profession? Sculptor, sir. You? Blacksmith. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> Shit. Um, you know, the show got canceled, you know, but you know, it is what it is, right? Um, people don't fight fair, you know what I mean? To all my supporters that bought tickets, it was a sold out show. We sold out the venue at 300 capacity, you know what I mean? 45 bucks a pop, you do the math, you know what I'm saying? I lost a nice little bag, but it is what it is, right? Um, the opposition don't give a fuck about you feeding your family or how you pay the bills. Dropout channels don't give a fuck about how you pay bills, you know what I'm saying, or how you feed your family. But like a hustler, you got to move on to the next move, right? So, um, anyways, long story short, this Saturday I'm going to be with Lefty Gun playing drummer boy at the Observatory in OC. To my people upstate, man, my apologies, man. Um, shit, you know, we'll figure it out, right? We'll figure it out for another date or somehow, somehow, somehow. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said at the end of those things. I don't think he knows what he said either. Benji with his mom right now. Benji with his mom right now. Hey, hey, look, all bullshit to the side. I'm gonna tell you guys a fucking story. I went to go sleep over at Dub's house. I'm not even bullshitting you. I'm knocked out. You know what I mean? I'm laying down. I feel something licking my fucking toes. <laughs> First thing came to my mind, man, what the fuck is it? He does that. I mean, he, it's a trip. Like, if, if, if somebody takes their shoes and socks off, he goes for the soul. Yeah, I'm like, why? Who started licking my fucking toes, fool? Hey, big old gun. Like, what the fuck did I get myself into? That's like, like, that's like, that's like, that's like, that's dog. Man, oh, that's just scary. And Aku did get in the shower in the middle of the night, too. I was like, what's this fool doing? Oh, uh, yeah, damn. Is that why you did that? Hell oh, yeah, fool. Dog, my toes and shit. Well, how come, how come fucking your feet were hanging out of the shower, though? <laughs> Man, what the fuck you 
fuck you doing looking at me in the shower, fool? <laughs> what the fuck you doing looking at me in the shower, fool? <laughs> We got 70 in here. We're halfway to where we were. That was my bad. Sam said Benji has a little freak in him. Uh -uh, I don't take my socks off. That's the thing is, I don't take my socks off. When you see with your socks? Yeah. I fuck with my socks on. <laughs> I'll be butt naked with my socks on. Get it. You gotta keep your feet warm and you gotta make it to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah home in case of a fire or something. I don't know. <laughs> Who the, so that is, so, so, what, that's not normal to, to fuck with your, your socks on? I'll, I'll be All fucking bitching with the Air Forces. Your socks on if you stay up there, you got to be in your feet. That's all crazy. That's all reason why, bro. Fucking bitching, man. You don't have to put a post on your glasses like you said before. Tobias, hey, just, Tobias said, love in the red. Check this out, big dog. Whoa, shoes to match. The shoes <laughs> to match. I'm flamed up right now. Shit, hell yeah, that makes sense. That makes both of us. <coughs> yeah, figures too. <clears throat> My boy, American Trollo. Beat the dog. Racist. Without racist. Without racist. Without. So let me tell you what went happened. to his house. So there's a guy who is a Mexican podcaster. Shit, right? Yes, and he had a whole rant talking about the no jumper host and saying that they're all a bunch of monkeys. Now, I don't know if you you might be thrown in that mick. You might be thrown in that mick. You might be thrown in that mick. <laughs> what did I miss? She spoke. And when Adam 16 tells him to jump, these motherfuckers will jump. And I hope to God their numbers start falling and their their followers start seeing that these guys are literally getting used by one widow. This widow is on fucking cloud nine. This widow is just literally is thinking, I have the, the fucking browns and the blacks working for me. These motherfuckers all work for me. They're gonna act. They're gonna act like fucking monkeys for me. The blacks are gonna be monkeys for me. The browns are gonna be monkeys for me. I think it's crazy how these fools are. Are they're monkeys? The blacks on no jumper are monkeys. The browns on no jumpers are monkeys because they're gonna jump every time. Adam sixteen says jump, jump. Fucking was to get to Adam 16. I already knew American Cholas go. You might be thrown in that mix. I presume he's not talking about you. He's probably talking about some of the other people. But monkeys was the phrase that he used repeatedly in this rant. Did he say monkeys? Or did he say pinche changos? He said monkeys. You it was in English. Said changos? No. Okay. Well, that's is what is that said. the direct translation? That's, that's the Spanish. Okay. But either way, he goes on this whole rant, and so then. 
the podcast that he was a part of, the main dude on the podcast, fires him on air as a host because of the racism. Fires him on air as a host because of the racism. It was brought to my attention on Monday that just passed that a certain person, and this person being Norbert, or most of you guys know him as Norby's, went live Sunday. Uh, I won't get into it too much until I hand it over to him. Went live on his page, run the page, and uh, was addressing certain podcasters. Some things were said. The next day, I believe, uh, somebody sent me a clip of him saying certain words that I disagreed with. I strongly disagree with him on those bad, poor choice of words. But I'm not going to clarify anything for him. I need him to clarify it for himself. So uh, we're just going to jump right into it. So, uh, Norbert. Um, to bring people up to date on what we're going to talk about, because we're not going to talk about it for a long time. Yeah. On Cinco de Mayo, it was, you were sitting right here, Marvelous was right here. Yes. And we went live, we had a great time. Yes, a very great time. Okay. So you left, and at any time you can chime in, you left, you went home, yeah. and you decided to go live. Yeah, I decided to go live because I think before the show ended, uh, somebody had sent me a clip uh -huh. of a podcaster talking about another podcaster, uh, which I spoke on that live. And pretty much I was doing a reaction to that. Okay, now, just to ask, because we had already went live here. Yes. And we had possibly about 2,000 people watching. We had a great time. Yes. What was it that motivated you to go live that you couldn't wait for another day? Because it was already late. I'm assuming it was pretty late. Yeah, it was pretty late. Um, again, I'm also pretty surprised myself that I don't know why I decided to go live at that time. Okay. You know, most of the time, usually when I leave here, I just go home, go sleep. Right, okay, so you went live. And like you said, you started talking about a certain podcaster that was talking about another podcaster and you were doing your reaction. Yes. In the midst of that, you said certain things that were brought to my attention. Yeah. People made reactions. Yes. And I'm just going to flat out and say it. The way they clipped that video and the words that you used made you look like a racist. That's the picture that they were trying to paint, paint of you. So please clarify that. Why those choice of words or where did those words come from? Those words... And let me start off by saying, Tony, that first, I want to apologize to all the people that, you know, found it offensive. Uh, that wasn't the intention. I didn't mean to use those words to, like, offend anybody. It was just poor judgment in words because I was trying to describe a certain act yeah. a certain, uh, of, uh, of that situation I was talking about. Yeah. And that's, that was my mistake, and I will own up to that. I should have used that word. Trust me when I say this, I regret it 100%. That's not me. Anybody that's seen me throughout the years here know right. that I don't talk like that. Okay, and I'm going to bring up the word because the word that you were using was monkey. Yes. What does monkey mean to you in the context of your reaction? Uh, monkey is, is um, when I use that as, I guess you would say, an analogy. Okay. I meant it in a way where... It was always in my mind two things, monkey see, monkey do, and then circus animals. Okay, circus animals. Now, I've heard you use monkey before. I've known you for about two years. Yeah, yeah. When I saw it, I knew I knew what you meant. Yeah. But I needed to talk to you about it. Yeah. And I can see how people can take it wrong. Yeah. Because many times you, you will talk about a certain podcaster yeah. on your podcast. Yes. And I, and I want to make this thing clear. The things that you said were not said here. No, no, they weren't. Where were they said? They were said on Run The Fade Podcast, my my podcast. Okay, I bring that up because everybody, at least with me, kept saying, this guy on your platform, you know, this guy's a racist on Rodeo Radio. Rodeo Radio supports racism. Tony is probably a racist too if he supports him. Yeah. That's what I was getting. And I got a lot of phone calls. Yeah. People telling me, what's up with this guy? Yeah. I mean, my friends were hitting me up telling me, what's up with this guy, bro? Yeah. They, they weren't saying, we think he's a racist, we think you're a racist. They were just saying, why those choice of words? Yeah. And, and before you go any further, Tony, let me also say, let me apologize to you because uh, this, because of my actions, my poor choice of words. Somebody out there clipped that with the intent to make me look out like a racist right. and with the intent to, to pretty much, um, what's the word, pretty much trample your career by not aiming it towards my platform, but using it as a weapon to aim it towards you. And you literally had nothing to do with that. Okay. Come on, come on, right, Dr. Right? Drew. Richard, am I doing harder, right? stronger. <laughs> Dr. Drew. Harder, stronger. Yeah. Oh, no. more. more. Oh. Oh. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
<laughs> if we ever decided to go part ways or you wanted to do your own thing, you could take news of no reason. Like, I'm not going to say that that's mine. You can leave. No, bro. You know, I'm going to leave all the episodes up. Yeah. You know, but if you want to because you're no longer a part of this team. Yes. You can go ahead and take news of no reason and do it yourself. Thank you. You have my number. You can call me uh, whenever you like. Uh, I don't hold anything against you. I accept your apology for your wrong choice of words, yeah. but I just cannot take those chances here anymore. No, I completely understand. Then, next, he goes to American Cholo's recording spot. Johnny, what I heard. What? I heard when he said that, American Cholo spoke against it. Pro call against him it being fired? Or no, against call him right, being right, right. racist. Because one thing that you get from the older Mexican dudes is that they don't want to see other Mexican Just dudes be outwardly on. racist because they realize this is going to create it's tension within the community, no right? Yeah, my name got mentioned in Mr. Capone shit, but go ahead. Okay. But so then this guy, Norby's, he goes to American Cholo's spot looking for either an argument or a fight. And in the live, it like splits from him walking around out there looking for him to him being mangled. Got that is shit video footage? Like, no, but there's a... Uh, do, do we have it? Uh... Why didn't you do this, man? Why did you? Uh, how can I rip this? Uh, Norris is like. Uh, uh, Norris is like. Uh, 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 uh. Well, I can't rip it. In. I can't rip it anymore. But whatever. <sighs> oh. <sighs> What's up, everybody? It's Norby's, your host, live from North Hollywood. I noticed somebody was talking about me. And you know what? Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti. Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti. Hey, shout out West Coast Graffiti for this one, for this one, for this one. I don't know if you guys seen the video, but it looked like a fucking Norby's got packed the fuck up. Was it just American Cholo? I don't know. The video says, you know, Norby says that he turned around or whatever, and then American Cholo just started wailing on there, pop, 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 grabbing them and pop, shooting him up and down and pop, 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 pop. I don't know, man. What do you guys think, man? Do you guys think that it was just American Cholo or somebody else? I mean, it is what is it? Monday night? Did American Cholo have a podcast tonight? Did he have a guest? <laughs> or did uh, a Norby's call him up and say, you know what? Let's meet up at your studio. I know the Addy. Let's run it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. What the fuck is going on, man? Holy shit, man. But uh, let's see what he has to say. Will he open the door? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see. Farmer's insurance. I'm going to say maybe the E. Which one do you guys think it is? Is it this guy right here? E? Gil, you in there? Gil. I'm pretty sure that's his truck right there. Since he wants to talk, let's talk. He wants to talk about me. Let's talk. Gil, is this one your studio? I'm guessing it's one of these two because he parked his truck right next to it. Yo, I'm just here to talk. That's all. Just talk like men, like men do. If anybody don't hold Rasa accountable, let it be Rasa. Yo, is that you? We might as well be, this talk has been needed to happen, so let me ring the bell. I don't mean to be rude, but I need to find one so we could actually talk like real men. If not, we'll stay here either till my phone dies or he comes out. Because uh, we should have be able to like talk as men. If not, We'll stay here either till my phone dies or he comes out. Because uh, we should have be able to like talk as men. As you can see, I have the protection. Just me by myself. We're nobody else. Here looking for a murder children. That's his truck right there. Yo. In the world of my creation, what we'll see uh, does anybody know which one it is? It's going to be one of these. Let's see. We got farmer's insurance. I don't think that's it. We do have this one. Oh, there he is, guys! There he is! Yo! The video shows a young man in a bandana covered in what appears to be dirt or blood repeatedly slamming himself into the front door of a house. <laughs> On 
On his third attempt to break down the door, he apparently knocks himself out after hitting his head. Stumbling after the impact, the man collapses over the front porch railing, knocking over an ornament in the process. He groans in pain as he flails his arms and raises his legs, seemingly trying to get back on his feet. But the video ends before we can see what happened next. I'm right, aren't I? That's what really happened, isn't it? Isn't it? Yes! <laughs> so, everybody, he ran back into his office. Paradise. Got me by surprise. Natural. <laughs> <laughs> Anything I'd hear. He waited exactly when I wasn't looking. Want to the world. Let him come back out. There's Let him come back out, guys. <laughs> hey, girl, how long are you going to stay in there? Girl. I think he thought I was going to get Kate Odin and just leave. This is insane, man. Okay, so do you guys give street cred to Dorby's for doing what he's did, what he did? Because you guys all know, you and I know that Norby's is not from the streets. Now, I myself, I've been around, you know what I mean? I was a tagger, I hang around with gangs, so I know the streets. But according to Norby's story, he was raised in North Hollywood with Asians and whites and in a nice neighborhood. So does Norby's get street cred for getting his ass beat by Gil? I don't know. What do you guys think? Give me you guys an honest opinion, man, because honestly, honestly, I think this is insane. This is what we call <coughs> taking it beyond YouTube. Now, did Norbys have to do this? Did he want to do this? What proof did he want to get out of this? Did he want to prove himself being like, I'm fucking street quit, homie. I do what I do. I'm gonna go over there and set an example. <coughs> did he have to do this? And why did he do this? I don't know, man. This is a fucking insane, man. Hey breaking shit man what the hell did you do this for norbridge norbridge i'm talking to you i know i don't talk to you personally no more but god damn why did you do this man why did you uh, how can i rip this uh, norbridge is like uh, 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 uh. well i can't rip it i can't rip it anymore but whatever You know, hey, shout out to American wow, I found Solo. It, I found it instantly. He spoke up for the brothers. Yeah, yeah, he did. I don't know where that's at. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They whooped his ass. <laughs> Bloody as fuck, dude. What is he saying? Uh, he's just basically trying to, like, justify the fact that he just had this happen to him. When trolling goes wrong. Yeah. I haven't heard anything from this dude. Where is that at? That's uh, his, his spot. His spot. American Solo spot, yes. His podcast spot. Yeah. Oh. Is it different than the one that you visited? I went to his house. Is that Run the Paint episode still up with you? Because you have yes, yeah, and I've, I said it on my, on my, one of my lives that I'm not going to take it down as a reminder of when not to be. It I'm going to try for an uptown girl. She's been living in a white bread world. As long as anyone with hot blood can.
What are you doing, man? You hear me? What are you doing? You hear me? Is somebody else? No, no, no. Come on, man. Don't. Now, go ahead. Go ahead. Put him up. Do it. On your head. Get on your knees. Do what I tell you. What's the problem with that? Get on your knees. This is crazy. Put your hands behind your back. Man, what did I do, man? Put them. What did I do, man? Put your hands behind your back. What did I do? No, 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 man. Put your hands behind your back. Do it right now. Behind your back. I can't. How am I Roll over. Behind my back. I saw it. I saw it. Behind my back. You on me, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Come on, man. I ain't got nothing on me. Come on, man. Come on, man. I don't have nothing on me, man. Put it in the sewer. I don't have nothing on me, man. You just dump dope right down that sewer. I ain't dog, and I saw you do it. Go talk to me. Go talk to me. Stand up. Look at this, man. Yeah, look at it. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this, man. This is crazy, man. I don't got on me, man. Nothing. Let me put him in your car, Lee. Alright? Yeah, he threw a bunch of dope down that sewer. That how I'ma throw it in the sewer and I have my hands behind my back. This is crazy, man. Look at this, man. This is crazy. Get in there. He threw a bag of dope right down here, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it. How about as soon as I turn him? I saw him when I drove up. He put a bag of dope down the front of his pants. I turn around on I get out on him. He starts he, not fighting, wrestling with me a little bit. I put him on the ground, and he dropped right down there. I don't know how to get out of these cars, I wonder. I got it, Frank. Right, don't get, put that under it, and I'll do it again. Put that right there. Here, pull this in up right here. There it is, right there. It's that crack right there. Yep. It's right there on that napkin. There, is there one on the wall too? Okay. No, I can see it. Yeah, that's it. That's a good idea. Was Danny from from Mariano? Yes, he was for a short period of time. Yes, he was. Um, like on the soft white underbelly, Cinemax. Uh, uh, different people started having him on this podcast, and it, and it appeared he's representing Maravilla. You know, Maravilla gang member. All we got marvelous uh, from Maravilla. He'd be throwing up MV. You know, like gang signing MV and all that banging MV. Like, really? Like, I know he's not from Mariana. I know he's not from Mariana. Was Danny from from Mariana? Yes, he was. For a short period of time, yes, he was. Um, I know he's not from Mariana. I, I found that out. I, I've confirmed that. Um, it's definitely not. Was Danny from from Mariana? Yes, he was for a short period of time. Yes, he was. Um, um, and 
and um, I, I, from as far as I know, he's not from any Maravilla either. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool and his daughter. But it's not like it was before, Carnada. It really isn't. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool and his daughter. It would have been pretty much between me, my homie, that fool and his daughter. Because yeah. that's who was there. Yeah. So And make a public apology to Big Snowman and to, for disrespecting our county's homie, for over here thinking that you could come over here and fly your way around here and thinking that ain't nothing gonna happen to you as far as you know what I mean we're gonna catch that fade on me so no that's how I feel people get called out every day right I get called out by random people I get called out by other youtubers it's just random shit what makes it okay for you to call him out okay so now this dude snowman who is he bro he's a phone banger no classy she could have got me on the low off the cameras, and then I would have considered it. She could have gotten me on the low, and you know what? Reach out to someone that knows someone that knows me. You know? I know he knows people that know me. I know he knows people that know me. She could have reached out that way. You know what I'm saying? And hypothetically speaking, we could have got fierritos, you know, fierrazos. I'm not going to say that's what's, what's going to happen, and that's not what I want to do. Nor do I condone stuff like that. Know what I'm saying? But if he wanted to, that could have happened without putting it on blast. Without, you know, making it known for everyone. Making it known for everyone. Making it known for everyone. To me, that's like Jelly. That's you putting the guy on the stove. And you're letting everybody else around know that you got a problem with the guy. I never, I never understood it. And not only do the people around here, but so do they, and I eventually get rid of it. And it basically knocked your opportunity to get the person. So obviously, you didn't want him in the first place. It's like a dumbass who comes out the yard after getting into a verbal conflict. Comes out the yard and he keeps moving around, eyeing the guy he's supposed to be getting. Having a knife under his boxers, he just keeps moving it, moving it around. All that tells me is it's for show. He's trying to let the other guy know, hey, look, I got knife. Watch it. If you're gonna do something, you ain't gonna do stuff like that. Making it known for everyone. Making it known for everyone. But if that's the way he wants to get down, that's the way he wants to get down. You know what I'm saying? She's not gonna get, she's not gonna be acknowledged. And I am not gonna put him in a position to make no failure. And him to pay attention to it. Look, either way I told him, you know, the, the disrespect was already there. You know what I'm saying? He I disrespected him, he disrespected me, but he continued on me. I just let him know how I felt, right? And let him know, like, hey, when I see you, regardless, money, no money, whatever, it's still on site, homie. I'm gonna hit you no matter what, homie. We could either, you could either come here and we could just, you know what I mean? Handle our business, square it up, and, you know what I mean? Bygones be bygones. Okay, so are you thinking more of a, like, professional setting for a boxing match? Because he said 10,000, but I'm not sure if he meant... Look, and I'll let him pick, homie. Any 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 way he wants to do it, if he wants gloves, if he wants me to put on gloves, he can use his hands. It doesn't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Either way, we're going we're gonna to catch it. You know what I mean? So anyway, I'll put a fucking blindfold on. It don't matter to me, homeboy. You know what I'm saying? But we're, we're going to get down regardless, homie. So you know I'm saying? a professional setting, temps, you think would be the best move? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I think it's... Uh, you know, I mean, there's a time I, I got down. It wasn't no professional <laughs> setting, you know what I mean? It was the front seat, homie, or, you know what I mean? Whatever. If somebody, where we come you know? from, homie, if you got a, if you, if there's a situation, homie, we, we meet up you. and we take care of it, homie. And then 
Well, you we think can't. at this point, though, that since we're doing it like on a live, it might be a, a more of a, a, I don't want to say like celebrity boxing match, but you know what I'm saying, yeah, like yeah, more yeah. now, because we didn't, we're not doing it in the background no more. Yeah, yeah. we could you call know, it friendly. And, and then you, and then, and then, no, I'm just yeah, being real. We're trying to make money and really, yeah, yeah. now, now we get the fans. Well, that's what I'm saying. Some of these fans there, don't pull hey, up. They, they pull they, up. They're supporting. Hey, hey, fucking yeah. charge a ticket. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Chola Juan, Chola, you know Chola saying? Juanita don't have the feria. I'm sure he's his I'm going to need that 10 grand back after that. I'm doing it for the remember the I'm the brokest podcaster for the rapper challenge. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, was it a, a thousand? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah. They wanted me to send them a thousand dollar video. What did I mean? I thought they were the cops. I mean, yeah, it's either that or or the apology, homie. You know what I'm saying? We want a real one, homie. But at the end of the day, we feel the way we feel, homie, and and when I stand by it, homie. Like you do, uh, you you're, you're a boxer. Uh, he got some yeah, training. Training. Yeah, that's gonna be a tough one for Cholo hey, one. So, if he ignores it, let's just say I, 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 I have good hands in. Um, so yeah, listen, if he ignores it, because in true reality, he don't have to respond, right? No, he doesn't. He's not obligated to respond. If I was in his shoes, which I'm not, and I never could be, you could say. Uh, I don't have to respond. I'm Chulo Juan. I'm a content creator. Uh, my name's already out there. I do big numbers. Why am I going to level down and fight a guy that doesn't have a name? A guy that seems like he's clout chasing. A guy that seems like he's clout chasing. A guy that seems like he's clout chasing. Do <laughs> campaign, guy. It's not going to work with me, guy. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to leave it to you like this, dog. If it's true, the vato's not even from a barrio. The vato doesn't even live here. And the vato lives where the Norteños are at. So, how active is this fool? You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. Message, first message. That vato is not to be acknowledged by me. I'm not going to put him in no position to make money because that's what he wants. He wants to, you know, he wants to organize a little fight with me so he can get paid. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And on some street shit, you already crossed the line by disrespecting me. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You want me, find me. You know how to, you know people that know me. You know what I'm saying? So if you want me that bad, find me. You know what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you will be satisfied once you leave. You know what I'm saying? I ain't threatening nobody. I ain't gonna attack nobody. You know what I'm saying? If I ever was to do something, it would be in self-defense. But I'm not looking for it. I'm not gonna go look for it. I'm not gonna entertain it. I'm not a threat to nobody's safety and security. Just right here chilling. Entertaining, doing my thing. A guy that seems like he's clout chasing, uh, I'm not going to do any of that. You, you got to remember where you came, homie. If you would have stood in your area and did all that and 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 and, 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 and be a clown over there, that that's cool, dog. Do that shit over there. But once you come, once you come over here. It, it to me is an automatic disrespect, homie. So I, at the end of the day, that doesn't go away. You still got that right there. So at the end of the day, when I tell you, hey, you know what I mean? I am who I am, and and I'm a real one, homie. So when I say I'm gonna do something like, hey, like I'm gonna hit you, homie, regardless. However you wanna, however, there's no ifs buts about it, homie. Like we're gonna catch that fade, whether you like it or not, homie. You know what I mean? We could have a friendly get down or whatever. Like we could have just squared up right here. We're like, man, homie, hey, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here. You could take. Somebody call up Chola, Chola Juan and tell him to come down. We'll have a friendly homie. You know what I mean? And, and he could be on his way. And, and you know what I mean? We'll, we'll leave it like that, homeboy. But at least he knows what what, what went on was disrespect. And, and, and to let other gente know that, you know what I mean? And, and let everybody know, dog. Like, you know what I mean? That it's, it's different everywhere you go. Everywhere program, everybody programs different. Nobody thinks the same. We all have different beliefs. And that that's cool. Every, that's cool. Everybody has different beliefs, homie. You know what I mean? But like I said, when, when we feel a certain way, it's a whole different, it's a whole different ball game, homie. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel about it. What you? Can't nobody tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Can't nobody tell me nothing. 
He will talk. And as soon as I did that, that's, a, that's when the sucker punched. There's nothing manly about him. There's, this guy only acts on emotions. So when he did what he did, it was because he was emotional. When he swang like a girl, it was because he was emotional. I mean, if you, you want to see, go, go, go back and watch my video. You'll see how, how much my shirt got torn up. Like, I've only known females to tear up another dude's shirt. Oh, very, very... uh. Fragile guy. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It sounds like Hulkamania is going on. I've been to quite a few fights in my day, and I've never ever had the need to rip off another dude's shirt. I thought that I thought that was pretty funny. Yo, your man Lefty Gun plays yeah. a mook. Yo, your man Lefty Gun plays a mook. Listen. He was yes, talking no. to the other dude no, in the club. Can't. No, 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 no. If me and you were in the club, what about that yeah. picture of you a stupid badass? Yo, your man Lefty Gun yeah. plays a mook. Bruh. 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 Yo, your man Lefty Gun yeah. plays a mook. I hate this son of a bitch. Uh, you got the suit, Compa Radio, dog. I, bro, I called out Compa Radio and the fucking comedy show, dog, and he shit his fucking pants, dog. The Curtis Nevada whole bit. Hey, woo, woo, about 50 blue. Woo, woo. Hey, fool, you wanna suck 50 blue dick? You can suck mine too. I'm circumcised. Lucky, you wanna suck my dick, Lucky? And circumcise, hey, it's two handfuls and the head's right there, bitch ass fool. Like, why are you going to the internet? Okay, public service announcement. Fuck Lucky, <laughs> fuck Hood Stock, fuck Whack 100. So, 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 listen, Lucky got drunk, Lil Dia got drunk, Lil Fat Torta got drunk. Start talking shit like hey ooh, ooh. mention my name. Yeah, no, I, I saw that. I understand like why you would feel how you feel about Lucky, and I don't understand why you would. Uh, he has my number. Why are you going on the internet? You want to get down? We'll get down. Don't try to get down. We're we're about to do a fucking show at the comedy show at Who's Gone Wild shit. The curtains about to open. Hey, woo, woo, about 50 blue. Woo. Uh, you got the suit, Compa Radio, dog. I, bro, I called out Compa Radio and the fucking comedy show, dog, and he shit his fucking pants, dog. Why did I call him out? Because he was Wait, talking what? shit about me. Oh, he was? Swifty Blue, bro. You stupid ass fool. I said, hey, what's happening, homie? This is real life. This ain't motherfucking YouTube, bitch. What's happening? Catch this shit, dog. I said, I'm here by myself, dog. These motherfuckers are weak as fuck, dog. All these fools, dog. Don't get fooled by these punk ass fools dog that's all i'm gonna say don't get fooled by motherfucking instagram youtube all this bullshit they weak ass fools dog they got no hood credentials dog none of these fools got hood credentials dog none of these fools none of these fools you can say their name in one hood and say and have the street say hey he's that dude no he's not that dude dog the curtains about to open. Hey, woo, 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 about 50 blue. Woo, woo. Hey, fool, you wanna suck 50 blue dick? You can suck mine too. I'm circumcised. Lucky, you wanna suck my dick, Lucky? 
It's circumcised. Hey, it's two handfuls and the head's right there, bitch ass fool. Like, why are you going to the internet? Okay. But, but, okay. Now that he wants to go on the internet, let's go. A1A boxing. A1A boxing. Let's have a That's whole fucking say. thing. This is a, this is a friendly phase, right? This is not like. Yeah, so no. that's right stuff. Why fuck with him? I don't want to diss hood stocks, but he dissed me, but, but, I'm a man, I'm a from a hood, you ain't gonna mark me out, for let's, let's run a fade, you want to do it, no cameras, no nothing, let's not go up, let's do it, if not, let's, it wasn't a boxing. I want it's cameras, that personally, it's that fan, I, I, I want cameras, just for no, my own, right, life. right, let's, let's do some content, you mentioned my name, let's run it. Black I feel shirt. like I need to take my pants off, but leave my shirt on. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> hey. Take my pants off, but leave my shirt on. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> hey. Take my pants off, but leave my shirt on. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> hey. But that hat right there with some black chucks. I don't wear chucks, fool. I've never worn chucks. I never like chucks. So what you don't you don't wear Cortezes either? What do you wear like dress shoes? I used to wear Cortezes. Yeah, Cortezes are velvet cool. ones were the shit though. Yeah, I don't got extensive uh, knowledge into this subject. I have been on yards, never a 50-50 yard. Never a 50-50 yard. Never a 50-50 yard. He's lying. Motherfuckers are doing real things righteously wiggling on other yardlers. I myself was never on them SMY yards. I was on a fitty fitty, something a little bit different. Never a 50 50 yard, never a 50 50 yard. I was on a fitty fitty, something a little bit different. I have been on yards, never a 50 50 yard. Uh -oh. Fuck with it. We're gonna do prank calls, bro. We're gonna prank call him. Fuck with his head one time. Scante bag now. Hey, you heard young D-boy selling cocaine as usual? Oh, what up? Hey, that's Flacco calling me. You guys wanna fuck with him? You wanna fuck with him? Watch out. Right. He's calling me, so we're gonna fuck with him, right? Hello? Hello? Who are you trying to get a hold of? Who? Are you trying to get a hold of Micho? This is Micho. Well, this, this doesn't sound like him. This is Micho. You know what Micho sounds like? No, I don't. Who is this? This is Micho Riso. <laughs> Flax, what's up? You're on my live, bro. We're doing oh, prank calls. Man. What's cracking with it, though? We're doing prank oh, calls. Man, I didn't even know who the hell this was. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> you said, hey, you don't sound like him. There's that. How the fuck does he know what Micho sounds like? No, I was thinking like someone got your phone, bro. I'm like, what the hell, man? They found you or something. No, hey, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. Hey. Anyway, hey, hey let, let me call you back in about 10 minutes. I'm right here on the live. You're on live? Okay, I'll tell you, I, I got off the phone with someone. You already know who I got off the phone with right now. I got, a, hey, I got off the phone with him, too, I think. Uh, same dude. Uh, uh, cats out a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just, uh, all right, I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, later. All right, later. Anyways, man. What's cracking with it, though? Flacco, hey, Flacco thought they found him. Hey, I thought they found you. <laughs> I don't know how, but they found you. Nah, he's fucking around. What's up, though? Shut up. No, imagine. Hey, what do you mean, shut up? <laughs> you keep asking me to let me know when you're when I'm ready. Go, 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 go. I'm trying to. If you be quiet, I will be allowed. You. No, you don't. You can be I quiet. Do. No, you don't. I, I don't get a chance to speak. I don't go. get a chance to respond, react, or anything. There's theatrics. I didn't realize we was in a, like a comedy show, too. I thought we was coming here to politics. We break. are, Dick. Stop. Dick, Dick, we break. are, Dick. Stop. We are, Dick. Stop. Bro. It's not, I say that in a loving way. When I say 
say dick to a homie. Touch me when you talk about dick. Loving way. When I say dick to a homie. Touch me when you talk about dick. Please, bro. I'm a real one, homie. I'm a man. I got grown sons, bro. I don't know what's going on. I don't feel too much tequila or what, bro. Please, bro. I'm a real one, homie. I'm a man. I got grown sons, bro. I don't want homie. I'm a man. I got grown sons, bro. Don't be scared, homie. Woo! I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's too much tequila or what, bro. We lose. Hey, I'm glad to have been here. Black Box Productions, Cliche T3, Shout to Mr. Cholo. We about to We still going. No, we still going. What's up? Oh, you said what? So we still going. We we good after this. Yeah, so what 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 else, what else you got in mind? I, I think after this we'll just you know, uh, wrap it up and, 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 and see what's up. Yeah, I, I definitely um we ne- we definitely need to get this going, man. Again, I love the healthy conversation and the topics, the hot topics again. I don't know if he wanted to answer as far as what he felt like um what's needed to be done to bring the um the communities together, but um yeah, that's what I'm about. I answer. Did you answer? Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, what did you feel? Um, as far as bringing us together, I think it's it's these conversations, bro. I, I think it's these conversations that are uh these are what's the word? Uh, not divisive. Chris, help me out here. Not divisive. Not, not, or you guys can help me out. (laughs) I did this shit with killers, man. You think I, come on, all of these YouTubers. And it is what it is. I'm not a tough guy. I'm not a gangster. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> let me let you in on something. I know a lot of legends personally. I did things side by side, hand in hand. With bottles that are legends right now that we came in the system together. I could make a pretty good bag off of that. The conversations we had, the interactions we had. That ain't going nowhere. That ain't going nowhere. Never has. Never has. Never has. A lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> so this is what I was actually tripping out on. You guys can read that real quick. It said, uh, bunch of stuff, but got some dates. Mr. Via is a validated gang member in California Department of Corrections. It's actually got his case number right there on the very bottom. If you look all the way on the very bottom. You guys can read all that right there. It says that he's sensitive needs. Mr. V out of San Quentin, California after hearing. Bada, bada, yada, yada. So there it is right there. You guys go ahead and check out the, uh, you guys can run the, uh, the case number on there. Double check it out. But this is your proof that he is no, in no, not in good standings. And he did parole from the sensitive needs yard you know you guys can read the paperwork right there right there that's the word the lines where it says mr via is a validated gang member of the california department of corrections to rehabilitation had classified him as a sensitive needs yard inmate. That's on the other side, people. That's bad standing. So there's a lot of people asking, is he active? I didn't know he was. I thought he was all good. Like, I don't care personally. But I think it was, I, I just came across this and started laughing because there's your answer. You guys know right there. There you guys have it right there for people that were wondering or asking, you know, uh, that whole pew. 
Kanye ito. Flow of your, the sensitive needs, your, the S and Y's findings. <laughs> let me let you in on something. You know, that whole few. Kanye ito. Flow of your, the sensitive needs, your, the S and Y's findings. But look at I'm successful. I'm 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 a fucking example for the people's kids. Yeah. Uh, I want to say, what you gotta say, bro. I want to I want to make it clear, right? So uh -huh. you're telling me if I give you the paperwork on uh, Cowboy messing with the 14 year old, you'll cut him off, right? Let me see it. Let me see okay. it. Okay. And Shoot and it. if I can get you the homie that 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 Gunner snitched on, on camera saying that he snitched on, you're gonna cut him cut him cut him off too or not? Well, What's here's up? the thing. Here's the uh -huh. thing. <laughs> here's the here's the thing, bro. He loves snitches. Jerry, Jerry, listen. Where can I meet mm -hmm. you? Where can I meet mm -hmm. you, Jerry? Where can mm -hmm. I meet you? Because you're talking a lot of shit, homeboy. Mm -hmm. Where can I meet you? Calm down. Calm down. Let's let's get to the... Let's get to the no, no, no. Potatoes. Jerry's, Jerry's in my... Really close to me. He's talking a lot of shit like he's about that life. Jerry, where, where can I meet you? Bro, I ain't got anybody. No kind of light oh, to throw a face. No, 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 Where can I meet you, Jerry? You talking a lot of shit, homeboy. Where can I meet you? Yeah, what's the deal? Hey, this is a response to that, um, that Leva, that Lane, that Binky Maricon, that, 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 that rat, the dropout dubs. Hey, man, you been made out to be a liar again. When you get on here and you tell these fabricated, um, these fabricated tales, man. That shit can that shit can kick some shit off out here in the streets, fool. So you you need to be more mindful of the shit that you say, man. When you get on here and you tell these all fallacious, these fallacious and fabricated tales about what happened in this and what happened in that and all that, man. You a dropout, fool. You know, I hear the blacks talk about all the time. The Mexicans can't do this, and they can't do that, and they can't do this. Well, remember that. You shouldn't even be speaking on black politics, black business, Sorenio politics, Sorenio business. If you ain't an active Sorenio fool, you shouldn't even be speaking on shit. Shut your bitch ass up. Shut your mark ass up, you fucking Levi. You fucking lame. Don't nobody give a fuck about what you supposedly did back in the days and all that, man. Fuck all that back in the day shit. What you doing now? What you doing now, big dog? Knowing that you ain't no good to the Sudanians. You're no good, boy. You ain't no good. Ain't no one who rolls up butt naked with one shower shoe on twacked out good to anyone. But you love to be on here giving these false impressions like you were all that. Uh, you're a mosh going, you're all stand up. Like you were respected in there when you weren't. Tell the truth. Tell the truth about yourself, son. Um, I want to shout out some other people. Uh, Dubs, he's not going to criticize them for doing anything, mm. uh, and neither is American well, Cholo. He doesn't. Well, he's on his own. That, that's something else. But these are guys uh, that have big platforms. They have big voices coming from La Raza yeah, side. But I don't. I don't know if you want. If, that's a whole other issue. I'm not even going to speak on that. But 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 the <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that the point is that uh, um, I'm talking about that individual. But yeah. but no, I. You can never, boy. You ain't gonna never be respected by the Russell Daniels, homie. Never. Never. Except for the pie said they're all chamalers with anyways. Except for the pie said they're all chamalers with anyways. Except for the pie said they're all chamalers with anyways. New video. New video. New video. And so all of a sudden, there's a hot topic. 
and I, f- I feel like it's kind of convenient, but I have to be honest, I haven't seen the video that people are all of a sudden wanting to react to. Concise, lawful order in English. Let's see if it bites, huh? Eh, they listen. <laughs> Let's see, they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. Nah, yes. And... Rather than go and, and look at the video, because I don't know where to find it. I Nobody sent me the timestamp. Concise lawful order in English. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. Let's <laughs> say they're all child molesters, anyways. Anyways, but I'm seeing other people are taking like a, you know, a 10 second clip, and I feel like whenever somebody is saying something, if you're gonna show it, you really should show a good three minutes of it, so we can get the the what led into it, what was said, what was after it, and I don't see that being done. Concise, lawful order in English. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. <laughs> Let's see, they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. So rather than me trying to do that, I'll just go ahead and uh, bring the man on. Concise, lawful order in English. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. <laughs> Let's see, they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways, nah, what's cracking? How you doing, Hector? What up, man? What's good, dude? Ah, uh, you know I, I'm I'm always trying to be fair with everybody, and I see, you know, I don't know, and 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 I already told you. So he and I haven't even discussed it. I just pulled him on right now, and I said, look, I want this to be authentic. I want him to be able to say what he said and what was the context, and then everybody is gonna make up their mind regardless but i feel like this is the fairest way to do it man so go ahead Hector. for sure dude yeah you just hit me up right now i was chilling on the couch you're like you want to do this yeah dude let's knock it out um and you're right bro straight shooting from the hip authentic um somebody gave me a heads up the other day that hey there's a video floating around of you a clip a clip concise lawful order in english this is the paisa and they listen <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. Ah, There's a clip, which is already a red flag. A clip uh, floating around of you where you said all paisas or chomos or something along those lines. And when I thought, it's just one of those things like, oh, God, here we go. Right. Whatever. Whatever. Number one, I'm not that important of a guy to be making clips of me. Trust me. <laughs> um, and if I can remember... You guys gotta understand, man. I say a lot, and I say a lot fast. And I also joke, man. I in, I incorporate humor into this content um, and stories. So if I can remember clearly of what it was, or if I can remember clearly of what it was, except for the bison, they're, they're all child molesters, anyways. Anyway. Oh, if I can remember clearly of what it was, concise, lawful order in English. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. Nah, it had to have either been alive. Had to have been alive, because that's when I'm more loose with it. And it had to have been something along the lines. The eyes are a window to the soul. You can see right through them. What do they expect from me? That's a good question. Take um, a close look at this guy's eyes. Before Jason answers, he looks up to the right. Where... Because race, race in California prisons always get brought up. Um, except for the paisa, they're, they're all child molesters, molesters anyways. anyways. We all know blacks, whites, Mexicans, and others. And if I can remember, right, because I have a horrible memory. It had to do with something, maybe, about protecting yourself against inmates and the different groups, the different races, and how, how they all, can all jump you. And I, when I came across, I might have said, except for the paisa, they're all child molesters anyways. Ha, ha, ha right if if that i don't know if you want to chime in there what i meant by it do i mean here's here's heartedly so here's the thing because i don't agree with that you know you know you know paisas sell up with southerners and southerners check paperwork so 
not always they don't always sell it with southerners but they're they're, they're under the same umbrella so you guys have to understand i did eight years on the gp side and then mm. eight years on the mm. wacky wild wild west and when a lot what i speak of from i'm speaking from the wild wild west mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. i'm speaking from s and y eop weird stuff bizarro stuff transgenders that's mm -hmm. where i speak from a lot mm -hmm. of people misconstrue and they're like no nah, they don't get down like on the gp i'm like yeah i know mm -hmm. that but that's not what i'm referring to and that's part of it and see that's right there when he so so that's good that that so here's some clarification because you know and i know on, on the main line the paisa sell up with the southerners and they're gonna check the paperwork it's not gonna happen i mean i mean i don't feel like i have to go on record to say that i knew exactly. a lot of a lot of solid paisas quote unquote solid and when i see when a former correctional guard says solid it means very respectful they had mm. some influence amongst their people and, and <laughs> let's be real they motherfuckers like to clean they would clean the area up i like everybody yes. likes a clean area so yeah okay cool so th i mean there that that's pretty much it um concise lawful order in english let's see the paisa and they listen <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. And it is unfortunate, man, that that you know, and I honestly, the way the way YouTube is is going right now, the way it's been, I think had you even prefaced that joke with that statement, they yeah. still would have clipped it. Um, another question that gets brought up is, uh, hey, do those type of individuals, right, the ones that mess with kids, do they have a stereotype? Do they have a characteristic? And if, I mean, to be real, if you ask anybody, I mean, they're, they're older white guys and there's paisas mm -hmm. in, in reality on an S and Y yard. You look, mm -hmm. you see, you see them right there. Now, is it all of them? No, that will be a blanket statement. <laughs> I'm going to say they're all child molesters anyways. Anyways. <laughs> um is there you know what i mean is there wobblers of course there's wobblers and everything but i'm just saying the older white creepy guys <laughs> and some paisas that you, you know you check and you look like damn l and l mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i mean that's just from my experience in 16 years dude working down south you know what i mean like well and and, and and if we're gonna keep it 100 percent real you know without saying which groups or which right. factions with it which ethnicities um it's common knowledge that there are certain groups where even on the gp those people are on the yard rapists and chomos their 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 group doesn't i know that doesn't deal with them so but yeah when you said you were so i'm i'm just glad here because again i didn't see it and i'm not going to justify it for any man that's why i wanted him to come on here and that's why gonna, initially go ahead, go ahead. i'm gonna stir the pot here when i shouldn't but i mean i feel like we have in a way you're right on gp yards there are certain groups that do not check paperwork and i see the banter going back and forth right and everybody did their time different in every places and, and but I, I can honestly tell you from my experience true true story I, i'm gonna fucking say it it's the truth man because i'm not gonna hold back i'm not gonna pull back any punches on I shouldn't even say where there's a gp yard gp there was a black dude how are you doing i'm uh doing too good what, what do you explain exactly what happened for the folks who may not know and uh uh said some pretty uh nasty things So I'm sitting here, I'm watching this video on Dubs trying to speak up for Gunner, talking about um, 
that we were just trying to get Gunner's money and all this shit, that that's what the whole plan was. No, Doug, truth is, we don't care about his money. We got our own house. We got kids here we take care of. We got all sorts of stuff going on in our life. The truth is, his daughter came down for a two week vacation. Prior to that, she had told the grandmother who she was living with, not, not Leonard, that she didn't even want to come down for summer vacation, that she didn't have a relationship with her mom, didn't know her mom, and was scared to come down. So Leonard and his mom lied to their daughter, said she was only coming for two weeks when the agreement was for a month. And two weeks after being here, his daughter began getting comfortable, started opening up, and talking about the abuse that's been going on for the past eight years. We're not the ones that pushed the court issue. Her daughter wanted to push the court issue. She did that because she's scared of death of her dad. She said she's scared of him. In court, she told the court that she was scared of him and wanted protection from him. She told the district attorney in Merced that she was scared of him and didn't want to be around him or his mother. Her also. She told her own lawyer, the minor's counsel, that she didn't want to go with, uh, be with them, that she wanted to be with the mom even though she doesn't know her. The courts did not place her back in Leonard's custody. The courts have placed her with a guardian because California courts is taking too long on getting the CPS reports, which we received two days after a change of venue was done to Oregon due to California courts taking too long to get it. So the case is still ongoing in Oregon. Now, you guys can sit there and say whatever you want, but what paperwork has Gunner showed you to validate what he's saying? Has, have you seen the reports from the courts or any of that where his own daughter is stating that he physically abused her for the past eight years? Have you seen the CPS report showing that when they showed up that she'd even told the police that his dad's been punching her? You haven't seen none of that, but you take his word on everything and you guys try to portray him as being this family guy who loves and cares for his daughter. Reports show that he's done nothing but abandon her to his mother. So you guys could sit here and speak and try to speak on us saying all this and that, but the truth's on paperwork, which we got. Now I'm gonna go to a lawyer tomorrow. I'm gonna see which paperwork can be shown to, to the public, which paperwork can. not And everything that can be shown publicly will be. So the truth's coming out. You don't gotta take my word for it right this second, but best believe what can be shown to the public will be. Gunner right now is not even supposed to be around his daughter. The courts ordered it that she be placed with a guardian. He has no contact, no visitation. So if he is around her, best believe that's saying help our case even more. So what I don't get is how you guys sit here and speak. Same with that Cali media or whatever the hell it is on how he's such a stand up guy. But none of you guys take into effect what the other side is saying or what the paperwork is saying. You guys go off of what he's saying because he's your friend. You sit here and say that you guys don't make these videos for money, but that's exactly what you guys have both said during videos. You said, we don't care. That's what the other person is doing. All we care about is the money that we get from our subscribers. You have no morals, dubs. You sit in all these videos and you talk about how you can't stand the people that abuse women, children, or the elderly. Well, guess what? Gunner does two of that. He abused every woman that's been in his relationship. He's been abused at least two of his own children. And all these all these people are coming out to speak on him now. Yeah, you guys see the gunner that's on the screen. You don't see the behind the screen gunner where he's abusive. You see the fake gunner that he puts on on camera to get your guys' money. A lot of people are like that. They portray one image and then as soon as they're behind closed doors, the demon in them comes out. So are you really then sit and support somebody that physically abuses women and children when that goes against everything that you say in your videos? 
If so, you're as fake as him. And for anybody that subscribes to him and you're putting your hard in, hard earned money into it, you guys are as bad as him for supporting a child abuser and woman abuser. Not to count the times that his parents came down with his daughter for us to visit. His his own father said that, yeah, I got to go clean the backyard up because every time I go back there, there's syringes laying around the shed area, and he tries to say that the homeless throw them over the fence. There ain't no homeless there. Ask Gunner. He's got a drug problem. He needs to get help for it. He's a compulsive liar. Courts ordered counseling. Guardian didn't do it. Courts ordered a lot of stuff. Gunner said, hey, I'll pay for the counseling. Did he put out one cent? No, he did not. Because he knows that if she's seen a counselor, that would be on record and they couldn't hide that fact. Now, you could do all the damage control you want. You could do all the pain of all these other platforms to try to back up how Gunner's a stand-up guy and all this and that. But I'm having everybody that has been around him, including ex-wives, other children who have been abused by him, they're all coming on our platform to speak. So if that's the type of guy you are and the type of guy you support by co-podcasting with him, no, Gun uh, Dubs, you're as bad as him. And he ain't bad in his homes. He ain't in no gang. Barrio don't need him, homes. Yeah, he's scared. He's scared what I'm gonna do, homes. There was a southerner, mm -hmm. number four, that had <laughs> bad charges. And when we brought him into the sergeant's office, I was a brand new CO. When we brought him into the sergeant's office, we said, are you going to be okay to stay here? And he goes, yeah, well, I'm going to be okay to stay here. And the dude stayed there. Um, wow. I remember his last name, too. Mm -hmm. I don't remember exactly what those charges were. Because mm -hmm. back then was the C files. So there was no way I was going to walk up to records to go look at the C files. Mm -hmm. It got a lot easier when you got that on the computer. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know who the person is, and but I, I will say this. I personally saw an individual. He was a Southerner, and he had a he had something on his jacket. However, it was cleared because what had happened was him and his homies pulled a train on someone, on a chick that was from a rival neighborhood. Yeah. And she looked at it as gangbanging, and she actually said they raped her. But her own homeboys spoke up for the dudes. And in the joint, they got a pass. So it has, I don't know if it's that dude. I don't know. But, what you I know, for a Southerner, it's extremely rare. But it, what I, every faction, dudes will, they'll try their luck. You know, you're right. So, so there's different levels to what we are talking about right now. Mm -hmm. And you're right about the train. But also another big one, and for the Southerners, is if a dude is like 18 and the chick is 17, mm -hmm. the, the mom will call the cops on the dude. And I've seen it on the paperwork. Mm -hmm. And say, hey, this guy, he's, you know, and then you get, you get an R in your jacket mm -hmm. for that. You absolutely do. So I think that might have been the case with this dude, right? Yeah. I don't want to dive in further, but yeah. Barrio don't need him, homes. We eat him up like cannibals, down and dirty like animals. Go diggers can't stand him home, so we roll him with the handle. You are an abuser. Okay. Here's the report. That's a sick report from CPS in Oregon. Just got it. What are you talking about? We used to shop at the dollar store. What are you talking about for clothes and shit? What are you talking about? You wish I fucking sucked your dick, fool. Fucking disgusting with your one ball. Ripping. Never wanted to go down when I seen that fucking shit. You wish. You wish. No, you need to look out for yourself. And get your ass some surgeries or something to bring that other nut down. That's what you need to do. So anyways, uh, you motherfuckers wanting to send me that dirty ass look now. So what nobody gets though is he's talking all this shit about her. And they've been separated <laughs> since 20, they've been separated since 2016. But he's got his, her name still tatted across his neck. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, I know. It's embarrassing. Someone who's that lifestyle, institutionalized for a long time, trying to do that, you know, fuck. Uh, but I did that. That's part of being a man, yeah. stepping up and taking care of your responsibilities. So I expressed to all the guys out there, men that are that are that are thinking men just because they've been locked up or they've been part of that gang life, they just switched 
But when I was to change, man, if you're not going to change yourself, I'm going to change I don't like it. So I did that. So how did you change for your kid when you abused her the past eight you know, years? Was, you know, whatever, right? I got my daughter when she was young. She was only like three or four years old. And her mother was going through some things. I was speaking to her mother. Her mother just was really good, right? But well, let's just say that she was going through some things. What do you mean? So were you. Both of us were. Come on, man. And you, you still were. You left to Portland, Oregon. You were recently hospitalized for paranoia and drug use. Recent. So is that baby mama the one in the CPS reports who called on you? I fall on the phone, bro. Come on. No, we went up to Oregon. You mm, cracked yeah. your window down about an inch because you were scared. Um, your mom and your stepdad brought her down to our house and was here. The time you were tweet the fuck out. <laughs> scared of uh, who's it? Stranger. Um, so what is the reason why you couldn't get your daughter to counseling that was court ordered since you're such a baller? What are you hiding? Ain't nobody hiding out out here. I walked in the front of the courtroom, out the front of the courtroom. You had your lawyer escort you out scared. Mm -hmm. no, the I didn't because it was allegations. How am I going to drop my daughter off to you? When there's allegations, bro. Two weeks into the visit down here, your daughter started saying how you've been abusing her the past eight years. From the was time scared to go home. She was four. She told her lawyer that she was scared to death of you. She was scared of your mom, your stepdad. Right? You are an abuser. Okay. Here's the report. That's a thick report from CPS in Oregon. Just got it. other company keep each other warm at night I, i'm thinking you have those tendencies man because you're always talking about somebody having their having your shit in in their mouth you know that's gay as, that's gay as hell no matter if you're pitching or you're receiving that's gay as hell you're always talking about peanut butter being packed and all that dude get your mind out of there man people don't want to hear it man that's not what's happening uh daniel signs bad girl You ain't black. When he says blacks are extremely afraid, I don't believe that. There may be some, you know, there may be some. You ain't black. It's a different mindset. It isn't instilled in the blacks. You ain't black. It isn't instilled in the blacks to be willing to die on the prison yard. You ain't black. There's going to be a lot of blacks that are going to be mad at me for reacting to this, and that's fine. You ain't black. Um, I didn't say and I don't believe that that all blacks are extremely afraid or even afraid period I think it's just a different mindset You ain't black. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for all the hate that's gonna come with this and somehow I'm gonna be racist to some people for reacting to a black man's video. You ain't black Thank you for being a friend
here's my here, here. This is one of my favorite parts, bro. This is one of my favorite parts, bro. This is one of my favorite parts, bro. At the nine minute mark, around 925, he starts talking about sex play. Now, sex play is pretty common. The woods do it, Southsiders do it. Sex play is nothing more than just horse play with a little bit of just sexual innuendo thrown in. It's for jokes, it's to be funny. Now, sex play is pretty common. The woods do it, Southsiders do it. Now, sex play is pretty common. The woods do it, Southsiders do it. You might be, you know, a whole bunch might say, hey, where's my cup? Like, I got your cup right here hanging, bro. That type of shit, man. Sex play, everybody does it. But according to Rascal, he says this. He's like, you know, the North Daniels can't sex play. He didn't say they didn't want to. Now, sex play is pretty common. The woods do it. Southsiders do it. I personally feel that... When content creators move out of state because of the content that they're creating, you forfeit that opportunity. You forfeit that right to discuss California. For someone to say that they accept their fate, no you don't. If you ran off to another state, you don't accept your fate. You know what you're doing. You're tempting the devil. And the devil will come for you. The things you guys are doing, man, is 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 you don't live in the state for a reason. Fucking dumb fuck. I don't know if you know there's there's two type of green lights the people that you're messing with there's two type of green lights man there's a green light and there's a hard green light this is why i don't disrespect people we all got to be comfortable with what we're putting out and apparently you are comfortable and those channels that do that are comfortable You are only an hour away from me, fucking punk. Okay. Shit. Damn. Yeah. And? Do not act like you're in my world. You are not in my world. No one's acting like they're in your world, does. So yeah, I keep saying that shit. Shut the fuck up. <clears throat> yeah, okay, punk. whatever, bro. Yeah, like shut up. Cool. I'm telling there you. There you go. Listen, listen, I'm telling you right now. I'm trying to let you out of this shit. Don't act like well, you're in my do world. Do what you gotta do for I every mean, time you have to do for do what you gotta do. Yeah, you fucking dang. Okay. Oh, hey, okay, yeah. Listo. Cool. <laughs> what, what were you saying? <laughs> Jerry, no, I, just, Jerry, I will wreck Jerry's Le whole Listo. <laughs> yeah. What are you waiting on? Are you are you waiting to send it or what the fucking fuck? Jerry, you don't what was that? Jerry, huh? I'll go to your house tonight. You tell, still me talking? At, fool. tell me where you're at. Hold I'll go to your on, fucking chill, house chill, tonight, chill, you chill, fucking chill. bitch. Listo. <laughs> I'm not here in Serena for the fuck I'm not here. I'm talking about. I'll go to your fucking house tonight, you fucking bitch. Oh, Come on, man, chill out, does. Let's go. Uh, nah, Come motherfucker, on. talking that shit. Come that on, motherfuckers got me fucked up. I go to your house tonight, Jerry. Where you at? <laughs> hey, uh, hey, boy, that guy said you guys said like two times. Far. Listen, you're not far from me, homeboy. I go to your mm -hmm. fucking house tonight, and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you don't fucked up now, bro. I I fucked up. Okay, let me yeah, know come where come down here. Let me come down here. Let me know where to be at. Oh, Serena, what's good? You fucking faggot. You ain't trying to <laughs> yeah, let me know. Yeah, yeah, you guys. You ain't trying to let me know. Uh, uh, I just said, Serena, didn't I? You fucking bitch. I'll show you that motherfucking house, you fucking faggot. Whoa. 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 You're right oh, down the street from me. You're right down the street from me, you fucking punk. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I know where the fuck I'm at, fool. You ain't gonna keep telling me. Yeah. Yeah, talk that shit to me, homeboy. I'm not the one. You got me mm -hmm. fucked up. This is why I don't disrespect people. When are these black niggas gonna get their karma, nigga, for trying to fuck up my race, nigga? When are these black niggas gonna get their karma, nigga, for trying to fuck up my race, nigga? When are these black niggas gonna get their karma, nigga, for trying to fuck up my race, nigga? And that was it, you know what I'm saying? He ended up shedding a tear or two and, and went about his way. Maria Diaz, this will pass. Uh, yeah, the hard times always pass, home girl, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and, and that's a good thing. You feel me? Uh, 
They don't have my, don't have the phone in here, nigga. I already told you about that, blood. Fuck, you, bro. I already told you about that, bro. Hey, nigga. I already told you, nigga, don't be fucking with me, nigga. I told you not to be fucking with me, blood. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Nigga, I told you don't be fucking with me, nigga. Nigga, what the fuck you got your phone on me for, nigga? Nigga, I'll beat your motherfucking ass, nigga. Who the fuck you think I am, you bitch, nigga? You a motherfucking bitch, nigga. But get the fucking phone out my motherfucking head, damn blood. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Nigga, I'll bang your shit, nigga. You got me fucked up, blood. Nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. I'm everything I love, nigga. Nigga, grab your stuff and leave, nigga, in my room right now, nigga. Or I really hurt your bitch ass, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. Get your shit and get the fuck up out of my motherfucking room, blood. Get your fucking phone over there, nigga. And get the fuck up out of here, nigga. Before I bang your shit, nigga. I told you I ain't fucking playing with you, nigga. Get your shit, nigga. Get your motherfucking shit, blood. I ain't fucking with you, nigga. Bro, I told you already, don't play with me, nigga. You been playing with me all day, nigga. You been playing with me, blood. Nigga, I ain't the one to play with, blood. Put your phone in your pocket, nigga. Get up out of my motherfucking room, blood. Nah, nigga, you keep fucking playing with me, nigga. Like I'm a bitch, nigga. Whoever said you's a bitch, nigga. Whoever said you's a bitch, nigga. Nah, nigga, you don't love me, nigga. I told you about your phone, nigga. I told you about that shit, blood. My bad, I, I told you, nigga. Do you think I'm a bitch? No. Nigga, I ain't no bitch, blood. I've never said that. Nigga, I ain't no motherfucking bitch, my nigga. Look at my phone, nigga, bro. Get up out of my room now before I hurt you, nigga. Before I beat your motherfucking ass, blood. My bad. Now, get up out of here, nigga. Go, bro. Get the fuck up out of here, nigga, before I bang your shit, nigga. Go, bro. I'm, I'm just grabbing my Grab your shit then, bro. Hurry the fuck up. Grab your tequila bottle. Grab whatever, nigga, before I hurt you, blood. You already been trying with this witchcraft shit with me already, nigga. Go, bro. I can already feel your energy, nigga. Go. Go. Go, nigga. Cause I'll hurt you, nigga. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt to hurry the fuck up and leave, bro. Come on, notepad, bro. That's my Fuck your motherfucking notepad, nigga. I'll give it to you later. I'll tell my bitch to give it to you, nigga. Get the fuck out of my room, bro. Get the fuck out of my room, nigga. I already told you, nigga, not to fuck with me, blood. I don't know who the fuck sent you, nigga. Fuck Chongo. Fuck your whole family, nigga. I'm just trying to see what I said. If I have everything, can I see that? Look, man. Look, I'll take everything I want. I don't give a fuck about your pockets, nigga. And like that, I just want to see if I have everything before I go. Bro, you got everything, nigga. You need to go, bro. You're already pissing me off, bro. With your little tactics, nigga, thinking you smooth, nigga. You're not smooth with me, bro. Go, bro. I'm telling you right now, nigga. Go, bro. You want to cast a fade, nigga? What you want to do, bro? Nigga, I'll hurt you, nigga. I swear to God, bro. You might as well get the fuck out of my room right now, bro. Get out of my room right now, nigga. You ain't my homie, bro. No, nigga, you can't have shit, nigga. Just get the fuck out of my room, bro. You come in here with bad intentions, bro. I do. And you coming in with evil intentions, go, bro. Go in your car, call me from your car in 10 minutes, nigga. You come in with evil intentions, nigga, and I can feel your shit, bro. All right, all right, go ahead, bro. Call me then, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. I told you in the car we can catch it, nigga. And you keep fucking with me with this witchcraft shit, nigga. You keep fucking with me with this shit, nigga. You keep fucking with your energy, bro. You keep your secret in LT, bro. I told you already, I'll beat your ass if your energy ain't right, bruh. Go, bruh. Got my room, bruh. Yeah, maybe. If you want, bruh. I'm, I'm, I'm not the one to fuck with, blood. I told you that already, bruh. Go, bruh. Get out my room, bruh. And fuck your big homie Chongo, nigga. Get out my room, bruh. Get out my room, bruh. I want y'all niggas to watch y'all motherfuckers. See the white folks. Yeah, nigga, I don't give a fuck, nigga. I don't play this shit, nigga, with nobody, but you guys want to point your phone at me? Y'all want to fucking play with me, nigga? I'll knock your motherfucking ass out, nigga. Straight the fuck up, but. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, nigga. I'll fight, nigga. Nigga's energy ain't right with me, blood. I'll knock him out, nigga. Anybody get close to me, nigga. Anybody get close to me, blood, I'll knock him out. Especially if I'm drinking, blood. That's the wrong time to fucking play with me, nigga. 
I don't give a fuck about no karma shit or none of that, blood. Like Charleston White said, nigga, when the white motherfuckers gonna get their karma, bruh? When these black niggas gonna get their karma, nigga, for trying to fuck up my race, nigga? I've got a curiosity. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Remember you had an ex years ago and you changed it now to a swastika? No, I never changed. It's been the same thing all the way along. Wasn't it always an ex? No, no, it never was. What's it stand for? It stands for whatever I mean it to stand for and whatever I make it stand for and whatever I want it to stand for. But it didn't, you didn't one time say you were exing yourself out? No, that was your newspapers that gave you that. So he says this dude from Sacramento, the Sacramaniac, who had the keys and he wore this hat, start reading a book about the Irish, and then all of a sudden he made all the other woods go cover up their swastikas. Batmouth liar. Batmouth liar. Batmouth liar. That didn't happen. I know for a fact it didn't happen. Please, if anyone's ever heard of anything like this happen in prison, hit me up on Instagram, bro. Rascal, you need a co-signer, dude. I need more people to tell me about this shiznit. No way a key holder is gonna go into prison and start telling all the woods to cover up their tattoos that they earned. And they wouldn't cover them up if they were told to. They would have removed that sacromaniac and they would have got their got his ass. They're not gonna go around covering up. And I don't wanna get into this too much. I talked about it in the live, but when you see Woods with swastikas, they stole that symbol from Hitler. Actually, Hitler stole it from the Hindus. The swastika was around long before Hitler. And just because you see a Wood with a swastika does not mean he's fighting Hitler's battles. You ever heard about a Wood that wants Poland to be part of Germany? You ever seen a Wood in California prison that was mad at the Jews? No, Woods don't care about the Jews. Woods don't care about Poland. Therefore, the swastika is just a symbol that we borrowed and we took for ourselves. Fat mouth liar. Fat mouth liar. Fat mouth liar. To represent, homie, the symbol that we use. It has nothing to do with Hitler. So all this dude reading an Irish book, and now all of a sudden I got covered live, bro. Straight up cap. And then he goes on to say, I respected it. I respected it. You respected what? You respected seeing people cover up their gang insignias, tattoos they earned. Oh, I really respected when I saw them cover up. Oh, but I lost respect for the others. You never had respect. For any white boy. I'll tell you what, bro, I'll tell you exactly what the problem is. Fat mouth liar. Fat mouth liar. Fat mouth liar. Come on, you debutants, got a once a year special on pump chops. This shit'll make a man ill coat, but she ain't going to no prom soon. <laughs> this fucking creep decaying, right? I'm getting tired of this kid. I shouldn't even say kid. Strike that, reverse it. I'm getting tired of this man, right? <laughs> She's jealous. A whole grown man talking to a minor on TikTok. You know, I came across the video that I'm not even gonna show you because it's so despicable, I almost threw up. Uh, thank you, Gunner. How'd you know I turned 16 today? I don't know. You know, Wendy, it's just, it's just something about that nalga in that picture that tells me 16. <laughs> Benza. Hey, no hate. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm hating. Fuck you and your hatred, right? But I will say this. This guy is a whole grown man talking to 13 year olds. <laughs> She's jealous. Online. Trying to map. It's just, it's just something about that nalga in that picture it tells me 16. <laughs> how was that? How, how does he get away with that? How does that allow? How was that allowed in social media? You really just go ahead and get on your last prayer. Listen to me, man. Listen to me. That girl is being raped. All right. I saw these two fucking drug addicts attacking her, and I stopped them, man. I what? swear to God, I stopped them. Enlighten me. I'm not. Don't lie to me. I swear to God. Don't lie to me. He's no. He's no good. He's no good. I've always said that I don't give second chances. So a lot of people have been asking me about King T, Little Toro, right? And just like anyone else, man, I haven't known this individual for a long time. You know, I heard his music. I listened to his music. I knew there was shit going on with him as far as the active Norteños and that he wasn't in good standings. And when I see a motherfucking paperwork, I can tell the difference from some made up fucking chopped and screwed ass paperwork to the real official shit, you know? I've been privy to see both. And uh, like I said, man, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this. This is the gun. You know what I mean? This is the juice. I keep the silk suits, Gucci bags, hand moved up. But look, 
I see the paperwork, man, and it says that this individual, man, did some very unrighteous stuff with the minor. I ain't going to get into the details, but let's just say it was under a 14-year-old and in that fashion, right? I got a little kid. Shut the fuck up, faggot! Bless his assholes. I have a little girl! Do it. Now, the moment I see this, you know, there was no slander. There was no defamation of character. There was no shitting on the individual. I just distanced myself, right? And of course, the viewers notice everything, you know? And, and a lot of respect, man. A lot of gratitude goes to the viewers out here in YouTube Landia, as Mike says, man, from Selena's report. Shout out to the homeboy, a real one. Um, That paperwork don't lie, man. And when you see it, and it's someone that you've taken kind to, man. Someone that you've taken near and dear to your heart. Someone that you're rocking with, you know, regardless of what people were saying. You know, there was a lot of people in my DMs, you know, hey, he's no good. He's no good. He's no good. And, I, and still, I rocked with the individual. And I and I rock with a lot of individuals because, hey, what, hey, I'm not the type to, just because you're pressing up on me, telling me who's good and who's not good. Charlie, bro, hey, you know what? Hey, I got to see for myself. I got to see it to believe it. I'm going to get to the bottom of your bullshit. When the motherfuckers brought it to my attention and I seen it, black and white, my own eyes, right there, Palabra, PW, beep, 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 boop, boop, minor. And I seen this, like I said, the only word I can say is flabberfucking gas, right? And upset, not upset with the individual, upset with myself for getting the wolf, pay no attention to the wampa that's over there doing crazy things with minor. I didn't know, right? And I felt some type of way. Um, Little Toro did a video talking about, you know, that um, he was going through some trials and tribulations and he was trying to pull some money off his YouTube account or whatever the case may be. And he reached out to anyone that would help him. And I did a video explaining that I absolutely would, you know, um, if he can get in contact with me. Well, he was able to get in contact with me through TikTok and I reached out to him and his family. And... You know, I uh, I did the most of what I could do to help him. And I could tell it during the, 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 you know, the talk, the phone call, he was getting a little discouraged just based off of, you know, it wasn't working out for him. But it's just something minor, man. But it's just something minor, man. But it's just something minor, man. See the paperwork, man. And it says that this individual, man, did some very unrighteous stuff with the minor. I ain't going to get into the details. But let's just say it was under a 14-year-old. And in that fashion, right? That I'm sure he'll overcome. And but I did the most I could to try to help him. And then at the end of the day, I blessed him with a little something, something because um, I could hear his kids in the background. I could I could hear the anguish in the homie's voice, man. I knew he really, really needed it for the right reasons. And so that's just me. And uh, like I said, man, I ain't new to this. I'm true to this. I've been doing this. This is the gun. You know what I mean? This is the juice. I gave you silk suits, Gucci bags, hand blue dot, all of it. But look see the paperwork man and it says that this individual man did some very unrighteous stuff with the minor i ain't gonna get into the details but let's just say it was under a 14 year old and in that fashion right now the moment i seen this he came to the pad he came to the pad he came to the pad so he pulls up and he has a couple people in the car and i'm not really Paying attention, right? He's just like, hey, come throw your shoes on, full, come trip out on the car. Yes, come trip out on the car. I'm not really paying attention. I'm like, all right, you want to floss on your boy? All right, must be nice. So I go out there, and there's all tinted windows. It's a new Corvette. Yes, come trip on the car. I'm not really. Hey, right back then it wasn't a C8 or nothing fancy like that but it was a decent Corvette so I'm looking at it like man you got the baby yeses on this shit right he's doing big things damn homie. right he's like man I'm talking about today today he just copped it and he's flossing on your boy and then as the window rolls down I notice something and my jaw drops he has what can only I can only describe as a very young kid and I said damn bro I didn't know you had a, an old ass daughter and shit you can't be that old, right? Start my math starts mathing real quick. My Einstein numbers start going across my. I'm starting to, to add and subtract and multiply and shit. And I could tell. And he's like, "Hey, bro, can I? Can she use your bathroom?" I said, "Fuck no." 
He said, damn, bro, like that? I said, fuck no. I said, bro, I'm, get, get over here, motherfucker, right? What are you doing, bro? Is that your prima? That better be your prima, your daughter, your step. That better be something related to you. He was like, nah, it's my chick. I said, bro, how old is she right now, bro? How old is she? Oh, bro, she's 16. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Right? On him. Dug his shit. Mm, right there in front. No diddy. Right? Boom, boom, boom. Smashed him right in front of the thing. Get the fuck up out of here. Banged his head and cut. Dented his new car. Get up out of here. The chick screaming. Nah! 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 And the only thing I felt bad about is that I beat him up in front of a minor. But he had to get where he got. My baby's mom came running out. What's going on? She had a fucking broom in her hand. She's down, right? She was ready to put in work. Kicked him up out of there. I say that to say this. Is Gunner a liar? Does Gunner make stuff up? Am I using Gunner? From the beginning. <laughs> Every time you were a coward, Gunner, I had witnesses to your cowardice acts. <laughs> Stiffy, oh, oh, give me the filero, por favor. Shut the fuck up, homie, you have two hands? Motherfucker. I got two hands, I was ready to handle mine. He was, oh, 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 they're gonna kill me. Shut the fuck up, dude. Nah, hell no. Nah. You fucked up, Gunner. You fucked up, boy. Earlier, Frisco to the, the bone, room. that's right, Frisco <laughs> to my desk. I The narcissist needs to be the center of attention. And anybody else that's getting any attention is a threat. Anybody else that's getting laughs, anybody else that's getting focused on, anybody else that's of interest, we need to get rid of them because all the attention needs to be on the narcissist. They have a really pathological need for admiration. They need people to tell them how smart they are, how interesting they are, how special they are. Show them how entitled they are. So that's this is a very controversial thing. And those that want to be upset, don't be upset with me. I'm going to do my reaction to what he says. I'm going to be as unbiased as I always am. Um, people feel I'm, I'm biased, some people. And I feel like the people that feel I'm biased are just people that don't like me. No matter what I did, I would be biased, right? And if that doesn't happen, they get very upset. They get very frustrated, and they can go on the attack. I said, well, there's about 100 of us on the yard right now. 100 of us are going to bring out knives. I said, there's probably 500 of you guys on the yard. Maybe 100 of you guys bring out knives. I said, the fucking numbers are equal. I said, you want to do this? We could do this. I don't know what message he took back, but he should die. And when we say a lack of empathy, these folks just don't have the ability to stand in somebody else's shoes. Somebody might show up late to work and say, oh, you're never late, what, what happened? And I'd say, oh, just as I was leaving this morning, my dog got out and was hit by a car and killed my dog. What would be a normal reaction? People would go, oh my gosh, you must feel terrible. I'm so sorry. Not a narcissist. A narcissist doesn't have the ability to identify with that person's feelings. So they might say, huh, well, you're here now. Or, uh, what kind of dog? Huh, well, you'll have to get another one. So. Anyway, what I was wanting to talk to you about, what, they have no ability to reflect feelings. They have no ability to identify with what that person might be experiencing at the time and be empathetic. So this has been a thing that, that's been known amongst the population in California prisons is there are blacks that are very dangerous. Uh, there are blacks that will use a weapon However, they're not the same as far as when it's time to roll, every single one of them.
he's going to bring a knife out and use it. And that's what you hear out of this man right now. He's saying the same thing, and it's not that they're punks. They'll get down with somebody, but when it comes to bringing that steel out, it's a different thing. They don't have that ability, which is why it's very difficult for them to ever have a close relationship with anybody. Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. Then he takes her back to your house and there they are kissing. If you want to confront them together, Let's we go can go do it right now. Let's go. Yeah, explain him to do. Let's go over there. Who's that vato? Who's that vato? Who is that vato right there? Surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. Right, I wasn't even tripping, I didn't even know who that vato was. And then, who's that vato? Who's that vato? Who is that vato right there? Hey, she goes to. Who's that vato? Who's that vato? Who is that vato right there? And she goes to. Who's that vato? Who's that vato? Who is that vato right there? Hey, she goes to. Hey, look at. Hey, look at the so we're talking about a sense of his self-importance and entitlement, preoccupation with fantasies. They create this world of how special and how important they are. They believe that they're special. They believe that they're unique. They're very exploitive. They're very arrogant. So you'll see them doing something that you would think, oh my gosh, they must be embarrassed about this. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the eleven. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the eleven. No, that's Gunner. Gunner got the eleven. I don't. I don't got him in eleven. I, I don't. I don't got him in eleven. I got the eleven. You know what I mean? Times seven. I got the eleven. You know what I mean? Times seven. I got the standard issue, but I I, I fuck hard, so it's all good. <laughs> hey. hey, I'm doing something that you would think, oh my gosh, they, they must be embarrassed about this. They don't read the room. You might see them saying or doing something that anybody would be embarrassed to say or do. and everybody in the room's rolling their eyes, the narcissist doesn't see that because they don't read the room. They're not interested in anybody's opinion. They just want to know that they're the focus of attention. And hopefully some of you motherfuckers are growing backbones instead of jumping on the first bullshit ass fucking story that comes out and says, oh no, man, he's being exposed. I ain't exposed shit, homie. Okay, so to all those bitch-made motherfuckers that are running, and we know who you're talking about, runner, that are running a fucking uh, uh, thing. Oh, I don't know, you know, this paperwork isn't me, but it might be real, it might be that. Shut your bitch ass up, homie. You're going to sit here and fucking make some fake-ass fucking accusations. When Gil's doing good, oh, I support Gil. Then when Gil's doing bad, oh, I don't know, guys. Now use a bitch, homie. Use a bitch. Hopefully some of you motherfuckers start gr growing backbones. You'll have a bunch of dummies like the runner fucking making all kind of videos. And then everybody also follows suit because they're seeing their views going up about it. And uh, Charlie, homie, not on mine, homie. Yeah, that fucking lame, homie. I wouldn't even talk about that guy. But you know what? You you straight leva, homie. You straight. You uh, that's, some, that's some bitch made shit because you see all this shit's going on. But you so worried about trying to get some views, some paper with your broke ass. Homie, why don't you get a job? Take care of your fucking kids. Hopefully some of you motherfuckers are growing back ones. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and he was happy. He was like, oh, now Gil's going to be in my fucking boat.
fucking guy, homie. You ain't about the raza, homie. You about your pocket, homie. And that's exactly what this explained. You about your pocket, motherfucker. And that's why all your crew that you guys were all good with at the box, and you guys don't even fuck with each other no more. And that's why they want anything to do with that shit, homie. But that's the fakest motherfucker that I've ever fucking seen, man. You know what I'm saying? I knew it from fucking... Once I started hearing the stories, I started catching shit a long time ago. Hopefully some of you motherfuckers are gro growing back on. But I'm not one to hate on people. Stay in my lane. If you don't fuck with me, I won't fuck with you. But for whatever reason, this rata, this snitch, this dude who debriefed, this dude who fucking told it, potentially in order, that hasn't been... It's been told by a few people, right? But this dude who fucking blatantly fucking debriefed and has his fucking minions trying to fucking find ways to put me in jail, hate on me in every fucking way. That's what this motherfucker's about. He's, he's never been a leader anywhere he's been. He's never held no position. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a squad member at that or tier security. That's the only position he ever held. Hopefully some of you motherfuckers are gr growing back pawns. That's the only position he ever held. You know what I'm saying? It's not my fault you couldn't, you couldn't fucking rise through the ranks. It's not my problem you can never run a prison. You know what I'm saying? Pegadas? Shit. I've never heard of you. I've never heard of you. My name rang bells at least, man. Motherfuckers know who I am, man. And there's a little bit jealousy behind that. And I never tried to play that against you, knowing that you were not of status, knowing that you never held any rank or position, knowing that your story was full of shit. You know what I'm saying? I was more than gave you an opportunity to come onto YouTube to where you have a prayer that you make a living for yourself. You know what I'm saying? I was more than gave you an opportunity to come onto YouTube to where you have a prayer that you make a living for yourself. And that's what you do, motherfuckers. I was more than gave you an opportunity to come onto YouTube to where you have a prayer that you make a living for yourself. And that's what you do, motherfuckers. What a bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully some of you motherfuckers are growing back on. This dude, first of all, Gutter got no business, Mr. Skinner, right? Locked it up as far back as YA the first fucking riot. Come on, man. We already know what time it is from there, right? Number one. Number two. Every fucking lie he's ever told, man. He was on Mr. SMY. Emil Creek fucking sold up with a Melendez brother. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker gun gunner, he's a snake, he's a pussy, he's a bitch, he's a fucking fake. I'll beat the shit out that boy. Saying that motherfucker gun, gunner, he's a snake, he's a pussy, he's a bitch, he's a fucking fake. I'll beat the shit out that boy straight up, man. Because you fucking put my fucking my whole situation last year, boy, it's gonna catch up to you. I'll tell you that right now. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna catch up to you. You a fucking fake, man. You a punk, you a bitch, you a sucker, man. And I will beat the brakes off you. I swear to god, I will. Anytime I fucking catch you, I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Because that's the kind of fucking motherfucking snake you is. You know what I'm saying? But we cannot normalize harming children. We cannot normalize this type of predatory behavior. And and again, I the argument of him individually, does he have mental health issues or doesn't he? And, and this and that. And he says all kinds of JK shit. This will pass. Uh yeah, the hard times always pass, home girl. You know what I'm saying? And uh and, and that's a good thing. You feel me? Uh Hey, don't have my don't have the phone in here, nigga. I already told you about that, bro. Fuck, I already told you about that, bro. I already told you, nigga, don't be fucking with me, nigga. I told you not to be fucking with me, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Nigga, I told you don't be fucking with me, nigga. Nigga, what the fuck you got your phone on me, bro, nigga? Nigga, I beat your motherfucking ass, nigga. Who the fuck you think I am, you bitch, nigga? You a motherfucking bitch, nigga? Look, get the fucking phone on my motherfucking head, damn, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you, nigga? Nigga, I'll bang no shit, nigga. You got me fucked up, bud. Nigga, you got me fucked up, nigga. I'm on everything I love, nigga. Nigga, grab your stuff and leave, nigga. Grab your stuff and leave, nigga, my room right now, nigga. Or I'll really hurt your bitch ass, nigga. You got me fucked up, nigga. Get your shit and get the fuck out of my motherfucking room, bud. Get your fucking phone over there, nigga. And get the fuck up out of here, nigga. For I bang no shit, nigga. I told you I ain't fucking playing with you, nigga. Get your shit, nigga. Get your motherfucking shit, bud. I ain't fucking with you, nigga. Bro, I told you already, don't play with me, nigga. You've been playing with me all day, nigga. You've been playing with me, blood. Nigga, I ain't the one to play with, blood. Put your phone in your pocket, nigga. Get up out of my motherfucking room, blood. Nah, nigga, you keep fucking playing with me, nigga. Like I'm a bitch, nigga. Whoever said you's a bitch, nigga. Whoever said you's a bitch, nigga. Nah, nigga, you don't love me. How, how does he get away with that? How does that allowed? How is that allowed in social media? 
Now, I understand he's not, all the blame can't be placed on him, I guess, right? I guess people are saying, well, she does, the, 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 the kid, she could have, you know, she didn't have to. Listen, man, there's no excuses here. There's never going to be an excuse. There's nothing anyone could tell me to place blame on that child when this is a grown man and he's swipey. Swipey, no swipey. Three months later, he executed a written plea and entered a no contest plea to the charge of unlawful blank intercourse. Okay. This is not a charge that you get put on Megan's law for. It is an S offense. No two ways about it. But it, you do not have to register on Megan's law if this is your only conviction. Okay. But we know the circumstances of this, right, is this. He had filed a complaint in the case 410, charging him with two counts of forcible, one count of forcible oral, one count of unlawful. The facts of the case: 30 to 14 years old. She reported to police. She forced her to have twice. So she comes over. She's talking to me on the phone. She's like, "Hey, I'm trying to kick it." I'm like, "I'm kick it then." I go upstairs. It was all consensual. Right after that, it was all consensual. Right after that, her and Trees and another homie from Guardia Wars and from Brown Street Lurch, I believe, and Goof or whatever, they go do whatever they're doing. I go to sleep, they're doing coke or they're doing something upstairs. I go to sleep, I get waking up to at five in the morning and it's the homegirl. She's like, hey, um, can you take me home? Can you give me a ride? I'm like, give you a ride? I'm like, you're tripping, it's five in the morning. Ask these fools, they the ones with the car. I don't even got a car, why would I give you a ride? So she says, oh, um, I need a ride. I'm like, I can't give you a ride. You tripping, I'm going back to bed. I don't give a fuck about none of that. All I care about is at the end of the day, this dude, this one dude seems to be getting a pass and people are all on his jock strap and he does wild and weird shit. No, I don't know if it's for the clout or if it's to make people think that he's something better than everyone else. My mom hires Daniel Russo. She says she paid him 10,000 supposedly. Russo comes up to me and spills this game to me. He says, look, this is what we're gonna do for you. You be, Now we've been in county jail for 14 months. Do you wanna get out? Of course I wanna get out. And then he says, all right, how do you feel about getting out today? So in that case, right, he, uh, he said no contest to the charge of the unlawful intercourse, which you don't have to sign up, or you don't have to register on Mega's Law for. Which you don't have to sign up, or you don't have to register on Mega's Law for which you don't have to sign up or you don't have to register on Megas Law for. The court accepted the plea, granted the DA's motion to dismiss the remaining charges with a Harvey waiver and found him to be in violation of probation in his Billy Club case, okay? And then he says, all right, how do you feel about getting out today? And I said, I wanna get out today, period. And he said, this is what we'll do for you. He said, well, Harvey waiver this gang enhancement case this is where the Harvey waiver comes in. Will Harvey waiver all the gang related and, and the gang enhancement cases if you just plead to... He executed a written plea and entered a no contest plea to the charge of unlawful blank intercourse, okay? This is not a charge that you get put on Megan's law for. It is an S offense, no two ways about it. If you just plead to unlawful intercourse with the minor within three years, and within one year, I'll get it expunged off your record. I said, no sex registration, right? He said, you don't got to register, bro. I promise you, you do not got to register. I'll put it in the writing and everything. An argument can be made if, if if you want to. And and I've heard some of this stuff said before, right? Uh, well, what about the girl? My mom comes over there and I'm still like, I should go to trial. She's like, look, we just paid $10,000 for this lawyer. Please just come home. Please just get out. You've been here for 14 months already. We're just, you're not going to register. That's the biggest thing. You're not going to register. And he said, he'll get you expunged off your record. So right then and there, I looked at her and I had to make a hard decision for myself. And I've heard some of this stuff said before, right? Uh, well, what about the girl, right? What what made her come forward was, did she really want to do it? Was she a groupie? Was she this? Did the fellas ran a train on her? All kinds of stuff. She is 14 years old. 
I don't give a fuck what the circumstances are, what she wanted, what, and I'm not saying any of that stuff's true. I'm not saying it's not true. Obviously, I wasn't there, right? I, I don't know the girl. It's funny how everybody in the case, um, everybody in the case, everybody, not in the case, but everybody that was involved with messing with this girl did not get in trouble. Isn't it funny that the Fairfield police just wanted me and not nobody else? At that time, I think the Fairfield police respect me now, though. I don't think they look at me like they used to look at me because I've changed, because I've changed, because I've changed, because I've changed, and I grew up and I handle my situation as a man. And I'm not out here chasing tail and chasing young highness and chasing young highness and chasing young highness and stuff like that. Like three years later, I caught a, a DUI for having marijuana, and that's what sent me to prison. So I went to prison. They asked me, Have you ever been accused of something? And if so, on, what, what? What is it? So I gave him my paperwork. I gave him my preliminary hearing transcripts. Weddle from Brown Street could verify it because Weddle was my celly at the time before I went. He said, you're going to be all right, bro. He said, there's a couple homeboys that catch cases like that. She was just a couple years younger than you. She lied. You're cool. Don't worry about it. And I was fully cleared. And when I got my fully clearance, they said, you have been given this golden opportunity to join our casa. Don't ever let something like this happen again, homie. Don't ever let something like this happen again, homie. And it's never happened again, bro. But at the same time, though, why did no other homeboy go to jail, bro? Why is everybody else getting a pass for the things they do in the dark, bro? Another thing I gotta say is this. How is nowadays, bro, people are accepting homosexuals like Lazy Boy and Lefty Butt Play, bro? <laughs> right? But we cannot normalize harming children. They're, ex they're, 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 they're accepting these dudes, men messing with other men. But if a man or a young man messes with a female that looks like she's a grown woman, a female that looks like she's a grown woman, a female that looks like she's a grown woman, a female that looks like she's a grown woman, that's somehow not accepted? But we cannot normalize harming children. When it's all consensual? I go upstairs, it's all consensual. Right after that, her and Trees and another homie from Guardian Wars also from Brown Street Lurch, I believe. And goof or whatever they go do whatever they're doing but we cannot normalize harming children i'm going by the laws of nature bro y'all going by the laws of men but we cannot normalize harming children and a lot of these other fools that really dropped out and pc'd up that they're a little jealous of me homie because i never did that before bro and it takes a real heart and a real soldier a real warrior to go through all the trials and tribulations i've been through and still stand tall to this day being a warrior being right here being strong unlawful intercourse with the minor within three years and within one year i'll get it expunged off your record that dude was an adult messing with a child and that's not okay and that's where i stand i remember having those black eyes and it was someone who pointed it out to me a picture of me and they were like look at your eyes 100% poreless perfection has arrived. New Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's family. I'm glad I have light in my eyes now. I'm glad I have love in my heart and peace in my heart. I'm not going to make the videos that are for everybody. But I make the videos that sit right within my heart and that I know will get to who they need to get to. And the point of their content is hate. I don't want to be that guy. I've never been that guy. I don't want to be that guy. I've never been that guy. You are only an hour away from me, fucking punk. I don't want to be that guy. I've never been that guy. So, I may slip from time to time. But I know who I am. I know what my intentions are, and if even if you don't, I care about your family. I care about your family. I care about your family. Listen, you're not far from me, homeboy. I'll go to your cool. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. I care about your family. I'll go to your cool. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. I make these videos for everyone's families. Listen, you're not far from me, homeboy. I'll go to your cool. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. 
Everyone's kids, nieces, nephews, grandkids. I'll go to your cool. fucking house tonight and I'll wreck your whole fucking family. Knowing, knowing that you ain't no good to the Sudanians. You're no good, boy. You ain't no good. Ain't no one who rolls up butt naked with one shower shoe on twacked out good to anyone. Nah. So, Dubs, why won't you ever answer certain questions that your viewers and your subscribers have about your history in prison? I remember in the in the 90s when when um, I was in New Folsom. Nah. Why have you been ducking and dodging certain questions about you since day one? Huh? Especially when people who know you and did time with you been calling you out on it. Why you been blocking them dudes? Huh? Why do you block those who, who were there with you, Joker? Especially at New Folsom when you rolled up, butt naked, with one shower shoe on, twacked out of your mind. Nah! But they brought up the fact that they've asked you questions that you've ducked and dodged. Why don't you tell them why, Dubs? Why don't you tell them the truth that you were really a Levi in there? I don't speak for nobody. I'm a content creator. I'm not in them streets. I'm not, I'm not running around shooting people up no more. Knowing that you ain't no good to the Sudanians. You're no good, boy. You ain't no good. Ain't no one who rolls up butt naked with one shower shoe on twacked out good to anyone. But you love to be on here giving these false impressions like you were all that. Uh, you're a mosh going, you're all stand up. Like you were respected in there when you weren't. Tell the truth. Tell the truth about yourself, son. And all of this projecting you're doing Right, enjoying the fact that we're mentioning your names like we do. Tell the truth, Dubs. You do the same thing to Wes Watson. You've done the same thing to Chill from Six Into Life. You've done the same thing to many others. And never mind that you were caught trolling in my comments. Never mind that you used to come on my lives. Never mind all that. That's neither here nor there, but we know that. Those who've watched me from day one know that. You've been in my lives with your own channel. But you've also been in there on troll accounts that everybody knew was you. You and Gunners. So while you sit here and project as if you don't do the same shit that you accuse everyone else of, when how many videos weekly you put out on Wes Watson? Begging for Wes Watson to, to shout you out, huh? Give you, a, give you some name recognition, huh? You forget that, huh? But you try to look down on everybody else and call us whatever you want. You do the same thing, boy. You do the same things, boy. But see, I understand PTSD because I'm trained to deal with this. And I understand that what you speak about on here more often than not is what traumatized you about prison because you were traumatized by that experience. That's why you go on and on and on and on. That's why you avoid certain questions about yourself. Huh? That's why you'll never admit to rolling up butt naked with one shower shoe on, twacked out, huh? Nah! Because you're traumatized by that experience. But just let it out, son. Let it out. Just cry one time. You can do it. But know your place. Because I'll put you in it. And as much as you enjoy getting your name, getting the name recognition and us calling you out and saying your name and acting like you don't, because we all know that it runs up your views. For every time we do it, it draws attention to you. And you know you're getting paid off that. So don't, don't be front like you don't enjoy it. Nah. You're just getting clown, Joker. That's all. You're just getting clown. You want the name? You want the claim to fame? You want to be all that? Well, here you go, buddy. Because the truth is, you know you rolled up. You know you're a lava. Just accept those facts. Just accept those facts, boy. Come out the closet now. Come on, Dubs, you could do it. Come out the closet. Ain't no shame in your game. Or is there? Or are you full of shame? And that's why you can't answer these questions. Huh? 
when you know they were there with you and you know they seen it. You're gonna be all right, little buddy. You got a lot of groupies supporting you. You got a whole lot of, you got a whole lot of groupies that, that support you and they ain't gonna never stop, stop supporting you. They don't come over here and troll me on account of you defending, defending an honor that you never had. You were never honorable. You were never respectable. You were always a dope fiend in there. But you'll never admit to that, huh? Remember when you and Gunners used to come on there drunk all the time and I used to clown you? Remember, won't you admit that I'm the one who got you to stop drinking like that, huh? Why don't you be honest with yourself, little boy? Maybe you'll grow up to be a man like me someday. They can stand on his own, they can go out in public, they can go to his hood, they can go live and do it for hours. Regardless, you can never, boy. You ain't gonna never be respected by the real Sudanians, homie. Never. Never. Cause you're enjoying your name being mentioned. And I'm enjoying mentioning the fact that you rolled up out of new Folsom, butt naked, twacked out with one shower shoe on. And you ain't respected by the Sudanians, fool. Why don't you be honest with your audience and let's see. I've been saying for a year now that the world is upside down. The world is on its head right now. Things that 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 are happening now, it's just like this is this gotta be the end of the world, right? Dubs is always lying. He's always exaggerating. He's always trying to hype his up above all others. When you try to put yourself and yours above all others, you're putting everyone else down. Which means you don't know your place. Do you know, do, do, do people not understand the type of bloodshed that will occur if something on the streets caused all them dudes, all the legends from all the different factions to get slammed down again? Do you think they're going to be okay with that? They're going to release the fucking dogs. Now let me put you in your place for a minute. And let me put you in your place for a minute. And let me put you in your place for a minute. Because soon enough, we're going to have the homie Tiger on, who was there in New Folsom. When Dubs rolled up, off the yard, PC'd up. When Dubs rolled up, off the yard, PC'd up. When Dubs rolled up, off the yard, PC'd up. He got twacked out, spun out of his mind, paranoid, and walked out butt naked with one shower shoe on. Never to return. He's gotten out since that, since that bid that he did and never went back. Out of fear and loathing. Because he was traumatized. Now, Doves is playing to his audience, which is primarily Sureños. Yeah, we all got subscribers and, and viewers who come from all over the world who tap in to check it out. I think that's every I think that's every YouTube channel on here that's either gang related or prison related. But the fact of the matter is, Dubs is not accepted by those Sudanios. He's not accepted by no Sudanios that 
that are in good standings that look down on people that have been to SMY. He's not. He's no good to them. And he'll never admit these facts to no one. To this day, he, he's in denial. He will never broach that subject. He's never going to tell <clears throat> the truth of where he was in there, how he finished his time in there, and why he won't go back there. That's why he tells these, these scary stories, these boogeyman stories about prison. And he's claimed that that's to help people keep people out of prison, make them not want to go there. The very things that traumatized him, that terrorized him about that prison system. And those that he speaks most of are those who he was most scared of. Having them out on the mainland gives them incentive to focus on their business and not focus on murder and mayhem. When you take them back off the mainland and you put them back in the dungeon where all they do is have 24 hours a day to think of some heinous ass shit, they're going to be very upset at who they think put them back there. And those that he speaks most of are those who he was most scared of. And those that he speaks most of are those who was, he was most scared of. It's a fact. You act as if you've been everywhere there and you act as if you ain't PC and you act like you're in good standings with the Sudanios there when you know you're not. And to sit there and try to Try to clown Tim Snow like you did. Boy, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You seriously, seriously ought to be ashamed of yourself. Because I seen the pride. You were exuding pride. You're taking so much pride in the fact that your name is being mentioned so much right now. Everybody hating on me. Everybody loves in the mouth. Yeah, look at the way you're talking. He was a pussy. And, but he shit everything out into a shirt, gave it to the clerk. The clerk threw it out the back. The homie put on a yard crew vest, went and got it. Remember, he shitted it out, and the homie picked it up and put it in his mouth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Look at the way you're talking. You're proving my point of what I said about you. You try to trigger all of these responses. You rode up off the yard, butt ass naked, twacked out with one shower shoe. You're weak, dude. You want to act like you're some big bad motherfucker. You're so intelligent when you're none of that. You have a narrow mind, a narrow view, and you can't speak to nothing more than what you've been through in prison. You don't have a broader view in life about nothing. You can't speak in depth about any other subject matter except for that. And you ain't been there in so long that it's changed so much and you've been called out on that point. You can't speak to what's going on in prison there right now because you ain't there. And to sit there and lie about the way that it is, dude, slap yourself, man, for reals. Because you're enjoying your name being mentioned. And I'm enjoying mentioning the fact that you rolled up out of new Folsom, butt naked, twacked out with one shower shoe on. And you ain't respected by the Sudanians, fool. Why don't you be honest with your audience and let's see. You ain't gonna never tell the truth, huh? But like Gunners, how can I drop out if I never dropped in? Type shit. Oh man, you're funny, dude. You're funny. You're funny in all of your weakness. It's funny how so many people are convinced of your bullshit, your lies. You're lying, dude. <laughs> Peace, I'm out. Sabes, me encanta como hablas, Tortuga. Qué facilidad tienes con las palabras. Salen de tu boca rapidito. Fluyen como una cascada. Me gusta eso de ti. Salud. Despensa en la tira. Sí, buenos días, camaradas.
because I ain't trying to get killed, right? I ain't trying to put a target on my back. But I would tell you, I agree wholeheartedly. Let's say they're all dumb with us anyways. Concise lawful order in English. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say they're all child molesters, anyways. Anyways. Ah, oh, I lost about half of you. Good. Don't ever come back. Oh, I lost about half of you. Good. Don't ever come back. Let's see the paisa. Eh, they listen. <laughs> I'm gonna say they're all child molesters, anyways. 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 Anyways, you can see the car. That's a fucked up car. That's a gacho car. Somebody needs to remove that car ASAP. That car fucking murder.